Welcome everyone. We are back. It is another Super Millions. It is a big day and some familiar faces as usual. Some of the biggest names in the game as well as the biggest prizes. We have a very special guest today as well, which I will introduce to you very shortly, who has won a bracelet on GG Poker before, a World Series of Poker bracelet, and has played some of the biggest stakes in the world. So we will be introing her very shortly. My friend Malika Razavi is going to be joining us today. I think she's uh, she's ready to rock and roll. If we can bring her in before we go and take a look at I think she is getting brought in right now, but we are going to see the man, the myth, Victor Malinowski is in another final table. It's kind of incredible. And we are going to go ahead and, and show you guys the action today. We got giveaways as usual. It will be a full to a winner playing from the Sunday $10,300 tournament. This is the final table. And we are literally going to be, we're going to do it again. We're season two, episode 63. Let's please bring the guest in for today. Malika, if she's ready to go, let's get her in here. And we will then go ahead. Oh, there she is. Look at this. She's Hi. ready to roll. How are you from South Africa? Good to see you. Thank you for taking the time today. Good to see you too. Thank you for having me. I was so excited for this. Yes, well, this is the this is obviously one of the biggest events every week online. Ten thousand dollar buy-in. You're no stranger to the high stakes. Of course, you just played the two hundred k. Where I saw you over in Cyprus, you also had uh, some great caches, and you've won a bracelet. People may not be as familiar with you because you don't play a ton of poker, but when you do, you do well, and you've won a bracelet. So uh, I know you recognize some of these names here at this final table, and. I think one maybe you got to meet in person in Cyprus recently, Victor Malinowski, who is literally seems like he's at this final table every single week. So it's good to see him again. And, and we'll go ahead and let's let's go take a look at this feature final table today. Let's go over and take a look and let me know if you, any names stand out to you here other than Victor. Do you recognize any of the other names? Because I actually don't recognize as many as normal that we see at the final table. But let me know if you see anyone that looks familiar. I do play sometimes in GG Poker, so I, I've seen the players, I, you know, obviously write notes and mark the players, but Jack Salter? Yes, that, that, is a, that is definitely a name to recognize. I think he has over 8 million in live earnings, almost 9 million. And look at that resume on GG, 3.9 oh. million in GG Poker alone. It's pretty crazy when you see on a... Uh, a specific site, a player who has more earnings than, you know, the 90%, 95% of the poker community as their total earnings. So we are going to see some big names. And this reminded me of something that uh, I think it was fine, fine. And listen, it was fine, fine. So we were playing the GG on the final table when I won the bracelet. And uh, I saw later on when someone was preaching and they were, they put my full name on. So my full name, nobody really knows it because it's like so long. And everyone probably over like 30 minutes, they were like searching, who is this girl? <laughs> I love it. It's fun. It's fun. It's, it is, you know, we were talking about this, winning the bracelet online, which you did. You, ha you haven't got to play a ton of live poker. And it's, it is pretty cool to be able to win a bracelet from your, from your home you were telling me the emotion of that and, and how how exciting that was did you get to play this year as many events were you playing live uh or playing some wsop online this year or did you get to play as much as you wanted I haven't, actually i haven't played much online but i have uh played live tournaments more than live this year obviously because the travel restriction was over um as you know uh wsop uh, was uh, held online for the first time in 2020 due to COVID. And that's where I could actually get um, a chance to play because I was refused to entering America because of my passport back that's, then. Uh, now I can, now I can uh, go to America. <laughs> very nice. Well, as we see Victor Malinowski open a 3 suit to get flatted by L. Joseph, 62 at the 10s, took down the pot. Victor didn't want to put any more chips in after that board. And we can kind of see the chip stacks as the Brazilian has 3.8 million, which is good for the chip lead. And as you can see, the payouts, really nice purse again today. We're ninth place going to get $49,653. But of course, that first prize is what is on everyone's mind. 347000 up there as we see. And are you are you up for a dinner? Can we do a wager on the players? Are you down to do a little draft between me and you, and then we can give the audience a giveaway as well based on our picks. Let's are you, are you, do it. Let's do right. it. I, okay, so red or black, I'll let you choose the color. That'll be the order, and then we'll go. The winner gets first. 
then second gets second, third, then you go it's snake draft. We'll go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. If you're if you're good with that, you pick the color and then we'll see who gets the first pick. I go with black. Gonna go with black. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the flop comes out next, and we'll see if we're gonna get to see one here as we'll see the king queen offsuit open off of his about 20 blind stack. So this I'm is uh yeah, Victor. He you can know, defend kind of, it, obviously, Jack Nine. Yeah, Victor prides himself playing post flop. Kind of a kind of a weird spot. It is the ranges are wide as it's late position and also one of the the shorter stacks. So let's see what Victor does. So it is uh it is a black flop. So you know what? You get you win. You we see a flop and we are gonna see the first pick go to you, Malika. So you can pick who you want first. I pick so from the the chat. No, so you you get to pick a player on the table. So we'll each pick four players. There's nine oh, total. So who's, who who I think is going to win? Okay, we're gonna each get. We're gonna keep picking. Like so, you pick first, and I pick the second, third. Then you get fourth, fifth. I get six, seven. Then you get eight. So we'll each have four players out of the nine, and then the audience <laughs> will get one as well. But yeah, well, for a dinner, you know, we'll just do for for a nice dinner for a couple. My wife and and your. If you want to bring a date, and we can. Whoever whoever loses uh, gets to treat on this dinner. That's what we're going to do. Perfect. So I will choose um, Victor. Wow. Very strong. Very. I mean, huge, great player. And you know what? I love that confidence in his game. He's got 1.2 <laughs> million. He's not the chip leader, but he is a dangerous player. And we'll, we'll, uh, I, I, that's a, that's a very nice pick. I will, take Rodrigo, the Brazilian, you know, my wife's Brazilian. I'm my son's half Brazilian and I, I always got love for the Brazilian. So, and he's a chip leader. That doesn't hurt. So I will take him and I'll take, uh, L Joseph 62. So I'll, now you get two picks after Victor, you get to choose two more. Oh, you know what? I messed that up, but that's okay. I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick with it. No problem. I'll, I'll stick those two. You get two now. I messed up, but that's okay. Maron. I'll choose Maron. Which one is that? Ignat, uh, what is his name? Oh, Moron. The, yes, Moron. The the, uh, Moron. the the Mexico the Mexico flag. Good. There is good I'm player. I'm sorry. Good. The surname no. is this. I didn't no, want to say Moron. I got it. I thought you were calling me a Moron, but fair enough. I, I, I was like, I did. I did mess up. I did mess up what I wanted to do. So that would have been that would have been a uh, justified. But okay. So you got Moron and, and who else? Um. Let's see, guys, help me from the chat. <laughs> Who to pick? Um, okay, well, Jack Salter, uh, I guess. That's he's he has some chips behind, so I'll go for that. Yes, that's a good pick. And I who I meant to pick because I know he is one of the one of the game's best, and I and I messed that up, but I'm happy with my picks, and I will then pick just mortal. And did you get two? You took Jack Salter and Moron, right? Ign I'm going to call um, him Ignacio. I'm going to call him Ignacio. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, uh, I will take just Mortal and Mr. Doberman. And then you get one more. You get one more pick. Mm, uh, we, did you uh, take Mortal? Yes, just a Mortal. Mm. So and I think you Dober can, you can pick Zhao or uh, Viva... I think the, the the Mexico flag there in the lower right with the Raven, it looks like a Raven logo, but you, those are the two remaining. I'll go, I'll go with the Raven one. The Raven. <laughs> All right. All right. So look, the chat, the chat is going to win a $50 GG poker ticket, no matter what. But if one of the three people that we select for them wins, they'll get a, they'll get a bonus of a, a hundred. So let's go with, uh, we'll give them Zhao who wasn't picked. We'll give them Victor. I think that's a fan favorite in your first pick. And I'm going to give them the, the chip leader of Rodrigo as well, the, the Brazilian. So audience, you're rooting for those three to get a bonus on the giveaway to be a $100 GG poker ticket instead of 50, but no matter what, you'll get 50. Invite you to hit the thumbs up. We appreciate that. And we will give you a keyword at the end of the stream to, to, to be brought into the giveaway to have a chance at that 50 or $100 ticket. But let's dive into the action as we've got our, we got our, our wager out of the way. We got the giveaway cleared up. We got a very strong audience. Appreciate you guys all coming in as join along here with myself, Jeff Gross with Malika, was a, I always say Razavi. Is that it's right, right? Razavi. Razavi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We're, we got it. You've been on the podcast now a couple times. You've you've won a bracelet. People need to know Malika's name. If you want to know more about her, you can search her. And she's she's got a very impressive resume on and off 
the felt. But today, Malika, we're talking, we're talking poker, we're talking final table, and we're talking big money here. And I hope, uh, yeah, I hope we get to see some amazing poker as usual. Uh, when is the next poker for you after you were just in Cyprus? What's your next stop? I'm supposed to actually be in London right now, but I'm waiting for my Schengen to go to Roswada, WSOP Prague. Well, very nice. So that's, that's definitely a... my next destination. I'll be yeah, playing a looking... uh, viral game, the high stake cash game. So if the viewers are viewing, watch that game. We're going to be playing live with a lot of interesting people. It's going to be a fun game. Very, very nice. And, and here we are seeing a not so nice spot for Viva uh, Egypto, I guess that's how you pronounce it, I'm told. And this is a nice fold, raises a screen. Wow, very have great fold. High, high, high level, definitely could be getting bluffed there and does make the right decision as we saw the ace king had this player in really well, bad shape, this, so. Uh, in this stage of the game, when you're sitting on the final table, uh, you, you know, like, you know that your opponent knows what your ranges are when you're opening uh, from under the gun. So when he's three betting you from big blind, he knows your ranges. He's your ace queen cannot be good. He's he's three betting you with ace king, pocket queen. I don't think he, he would even three bet you with jacks uh, from the big blind. So it's it's a very good fold. Yeah, well well done. And here we see Ignacio go ahead and make a quarter bet on the. Flop gets called by the open-ended King-10 on Jack-Queen-6 Rainbow. We see no improvement to either player. Let's see if Ignacio fires another shell or slows down. Could put some pressure on a 6 or a Jack. Probably not getting a Queen to fold. And actually does have the best hand. Does beat 9-10, King-10, which he blocks in his own hand. So maybe he's picking... And he's blocking, yeah. Yeah, he, you know, I like it. That's that's a, that's a spot you don't see people always shell on. But again, the ICM pressure, very, very prevalent, very, very high right now. So he does go ahead and decide to execute a pressure situation and takes it down. So, so nice hand. It's, it's always interesting to see final tables. Sometimes people sit back. Sometimes people really push the action. So far, we've definitely seen some action. Look at Jack Eight off, Malika, with the, the the raise there from the chip leader saying, look at, I'm going to... I mean, when you when you are a chip lead, you can put pressure. I mean, if you look at the, when, uh, when I was playing Triton, I was putting pressure on people when, you know, when they were short stack and we were on a bubble. Well, in, on a bubble, you can put pressure. On a final table, also, you can put pressure if you are a chip lead. On a shorter stack, definitely it's a good move to do. Yes, I, I, I'm I'm a person that puts pressure on the players. So, yeah, you are you are known for the aggression. It, it's fun to watch. And again, if those aren't familiar, you can always give Malika a search on. I mean, well, anywhere, but of course, Instagram. I know you're very you you do a lot of content and posting there as well as of course your head and mob. If anyone is curious about her resume in poker she does have a world series of poker bracelet and does play some of the highest stakes buy-ins in the world as we saw in cyprus uh have you recovered from cyprus was it are you that was a you know that was a long week that was a that was a long 10 days or so a lot of poker a lot of fun how have you gotten back into kind of everyday life and, and relaxing after that that's it's a high high stress situation you're playing the 200k invitational you played some high stakes buy-ins you had some deep runs you know how, how are you feeling now that that's over are you are you relieved or are you are you missing it or, or what's your feeling? You know, I love poker and I will never miss it. It doesn't matter how much I play. I I just don't get tired of it. So I, it didn't, it wasn't just Cyprus. You know, I started from, I went to uh, Barcelona. Then I went to Malta. There was a high stake cash game. We played the few days. Then, um, then I went to uh, Barcelona again. Uh, we played in Barcelona, then I flew to um, Cyprus and we played the, obviously um, in Merit and Triton. And before Triton, there was another event where, where which I played. I stayed in um, Cyprus, uh, I think 25 days. I was there for 25 days. So it was very intense. I was playing every day. I didn't give myself a break, literally, uh, which is very bad. Um, I always tell poker players you need to give yourself break and you know during when you, especially when you're playing a tournament but I was playing the tournament jumping to the cash game playing the cash game all night until morning and then going to the day two of the tournament it's very bad you shouldn't that's do a it. lot if you want to finish, don't do it 
<laughs> yes, that's that's great advice. And I'll tell you what, Victor there leads the turn so small with the trips, has a hundred percent lock on the hand, gets the opponent to call, and what a card! Ace on the river improves his opponent, goes for about a fifty percent pot bet, gets paid off, and Victor, your pick. All of a sudden, leapfrogs a few people. One point six million chips, looking all the more dangerous. So that was that was quite a hand and interesting bet size there on the turn. A lot of players would check, but he does go for a small, very small bet. Gets called and then gets the dream card to get paid. So nice, nice hand there. This is uh seems a little bit that the the stacks we got. You know, no one's so so short. We do see a seven hundred, couple seven hundred k stacks, but all in all, there's still plenty of play here. And you see those pay jumps. What do you do at a final table, Lika? Do you go for the win always, or do you do you respect ICM, or does it pe- depend on your mood? How do you decide on on how to approach your final tables? It depends who's on the final table, but I always go for the win. Like that's me. If if players that tell me let's chop, I I will always disagree and I say no, I don't want to chop. I want to play. I'm here to win the trophy and I'm here to, you know, to do it. So why just like chop it? It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I, I, I guess, you know, different, again, different stages. I do remember there's parts of my career, different times in your you know, bankroll and such where it can make, it can make sense to, to chop or just, you know, maybe it's like a smaller buy-in and you get so deep and it's so much money up top, but I agree. I think it's more fun now. It, it, it is fun to go for it, go for the trophy, go for the win, go for the money. And it, it makes it more entertaining for the viewers, obviously to watch. And we might see a massive pot here. Queen stays king. This is that classic coin flip situation. We do see a raise from Ignacio, king three suited under the gun, which is a bit out of line. And let's see how El Joseph proceeds here. This uh, got a few options, and this is you know this would not be a well, obviously, but yeah, yeah that happens. Uh, obviously, yeah. has to, but he's gonna fold. I, I'm wondering what is he gonna do here. I mean, he has not much option, but shoving or he cannot really call here. I wouldn't say he's gonna call. And what is he gonna do? Fold or or shove? What would I, you yeah, do? I think it's got to shove. I mean, I, I don't think you're folding queens, although it's um, you know, it's close. It's a nine-handed. You don't really want to get in the flip, but yeah, I think this is just one of those I mean, things. Play them. Short. You're not sitting very deep, so you want to get it in. Definitely yes. Oh, there's that king on the flop. Needs only a and queen. And he had an um, uh, Ignacia Moron. He had Ooh. a king. Oh, oh I saw it. It was a paint peel, but not the queen. And that is going to do it for Zao, who was actually one of the audience picks and also was undrafted, I believe, by us. Or did you? Yeah, I think it was undrafted. So it's four four players apiece. And you know, I'm going to give the audience guys that uh, we... Look at that, 1.2 million, very respectable on GG. Gets his Super Millions record from zero now to 49,000 for ninth place. But we're going to throw one more in. I'm going to give Jack Salter to the audience as well. Household name, want them with three people to sweat. There's eight left, three people. You have a chance for the $100 ticket on GG, and we'll give a $50 ticket no matter what. So there, there is the first elimination of the day down to eight. And yeah, that's one of those things. What are you going to do? Queens, ace, king. Nothing you can really you can. He cannot, you can do he's sitting short. It. He cannot fold his hand. He's three betting there, and the guy's four betting you jam. You cannot fold. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That that was uh, that was one of the hands just plays plays itself, and we are down to eight. And just a mortal is going to go ahead and wow! Look at this hand. Are we even? I mean, this is this is a wild, wild hand. Ten getting swaps. cards, and he's I mean, he's focused. It's a. I play so much. Oh my! God. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> that wow. Is wow! Wow! Okay, but wow. running running good is very important on the final table. <laughs> That's what I was to add. Wow! But, That's um. Wow! What else can you ask for? I mean, he has quads. Well, I, 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 I gotta say this. <laughs> this is actually, in a way, so unlucky for just mortal, but very lucky that the turn wasn't say a three. Because then he would get stacked probably for surely for the whole amount. But here now with the Kings, he does lose to Jax. He loses to a King. You know, the guy flatted though in the small blind. So this will be interesting what he does here. Um, you know, I think he might go big. Oh, it goes small. Interesting. So just the more. He has to go for value. Like just, I mean, a small bet to get cool. Yeah, I just I, the sizing is interesting because like he could get called. Maybe he just figures his opponent has ace high, doesn't have jacks plus, so doesn't think he's that strong. But at the same time, you know, you could get hero called there. 
Uh, that that was very interesting, very interesting sizing and quite a run out for us in Nolan Hole. And that looked like a little more like a PLO hand. Everyone had so much of the board, but wow, quite a quite a start for L. Joseph, 62, and he is currently basically tied for first just under Rodrigo's stack. So let's I see. actually like his bet size uh, a lot uh, because he's trying to get this more value out of his hand. His opponent uh, not really going to call with the A side. He's betting big. Uh, they're going for value betting big. He's he's not going to call with. I mean, you saw even with the tens, like very small. He got the call. If he doesn't have a ten, I don't think anyone will call with the A side. Yeah, I think exactly to your point. It's like sort of you're targeting maybe an A side call. There are some Broadway suiteds that he misses, but you know he, he's really. He's sort of in a weird spot on what range he thinks he'll get called by. I guess it's like Jack's Jack's plus, of course, would call a bigger bet, but it's sort of hard for him to put his opponent on that. That was an interesting hand, and we're seeing here Rodrigo and get here a little I out of line. Yeah, I see the A3 three betting um, from Eight. Big Blind. The blocker, <laughs> the ace blocker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big bet. Actually, ace that's right. Ace three off making a move and Victor does not look so convinced. I mean, maybe some experience with this player. They, they likely have tangled before and oh, wow. Look at that. That is not your wow. typical, typical play. That's a big boy play right there. That might be the play of the day and what an actual savage move. You know, he's just going to be going to be in trouble there. He's going to be dominated sometimes. Sometimes he'll have to flip versus ace king, but he ultimately just said, you know what? I didn't believe this man. And if we somehow get cooler, let's run a flip or I'll take my 20%. But he does make the right play and he is up to 2 million. I think that is, you can see, putting them very much so in the hunt for the game. Very, Malika, how'd you know? Did you talk? Victor's like, he's playing, he's playing A today, chipping up, making good plays. Did you, uh, I mean, what's going on? How did you know to pick him first when he was in like sixth place? It's crazy. He is I, I know how he plays. I've met him about six years ago, five years ago, uh, when we played Monaco together, uh, uh, EPT Monaco. And um, we played the main event. And I see how he plays. I watch his games. I really enjoy watching his game. He's, to me, he's one of the best. Yeah, I would say that is very much so the case. A lot of fan favorites and a very nice, very nice start for for Victor up to almost 2 million chips. And here we see Rodrigo go ahead and speed with the King 10 off right into Ace 8 suited. And Ace 8 suited gonna make the nuts. Now does still have two overs to the board. The board pairs, he has a, a valuable spade, but this is this is you don't a, wanna see another spade there. It will it will be so bad. Another no, spade. Yeah, yeah. This is uh this is definitely a a rough, rocky start to the hand and, and just immortal though with ace eight suited on the river has the nut flush the board's paired got to feel confident let's see what kind of sizing he goes with here gonna be hard to get called by the particular hand but this is a this is definitely a nice feeling to be in position with the nut flush at a final table playing for three hundred and forty-seven thousand to first he goes for a big bet and unlikely there's any way to get called Rodrigo, though no i mean maybe somehow could he ever turn his hand into a bluff possibly but this guy looks creative. We saw the ace three off. You know, he's got a key blocker. Yeah, he could, he could go for a bluff because he has a king block in his hand right now. But uh, if, if he's going to go for a bluff, he's going to put him all in. That would be a crazy play. I mean, obviously, the ace eight suited is not flush. I mean, getting check raised all in here would be pretty sick. I don't, I don't believe you'd find a fold. But this would be very interesting. Rodrigo's... I'll tell you what, I don't think he's getting acai made right now. I think he is he is genuinely thinking of making a move, but he thought better of it. And nice hand for just immortal gonna chip up and Rodrigo. I Malika, I think we got the idea about this player, Rodrigo, the Brazilian. I think he's saucy, he's spicy, he's feeling moves, he's feeling action. We're gonna see gonna see him put some people in some tough spots, I would bet today. Let's see how this progresses. Yeah, okay. but. I mean, with, with that hand, I've, I have seen a lot of people, you know, use the king as a blocker to make the, turn their hand into a bluff, and well done to him to actually make that fault. Yeah. Uh, what a flop for Victor. Yeah, this is a nice start. He's got the worst hand, the worst position, but he's got heart in his 
in his in his repertoire to to fire and this is definitely one where he could check raise or put some pressure on and ignacio is going to go ahead and bet this is certainly not going to shake victor just a matter of a call or check raise definitely could argue both and i mean this is this is one where we calling yeah, it does, yeah does call makes makes a lot of sense Do you think he's going to make a bet here again? He has a gut shot. Yeah, it's a, I mean, you know, has to give up many. Um, okay, he's going for it. And he actually makes it a big bet. Yeah, this is, um, this is interesting because Victor now is going to, you know, he, he can't go anywhere. Of course, top pair and the, the queen high flush draw just a matter of i think the calling just makes the, the most sense of course because it doesn't really why you know you either have the best hand your opponent's bluffing and you could get called by worse so he does call gets a clean river and it is now a matter of ignacio does he want to put pressure here or not you know also kind of realizing there are hands like diamonds that maybe have him beat that are that are like ace high diamonds somehow are possible there's some other hands that maybe he's just that that he is uh not good that are not so comfortable with their hand but this is this would be very interesting to see a big bat and i mean i would give up on this river to be honest i would give up in this river so it's like okay yes yeah there is a flush draw that has missed but what is he's turning his hand to bluff us okay he's he's going for it and obviously he's going to call wow i mean I, I don't. I, this this bet doesn't make sense to me on on that river. Yes, maybe he think okay, he missed his flush. Let me put pressure on him. But yeah, I mean, I I think yeah, exactly. It just obviously when the cards are up and you have top hair and as it is, it's a very strong line from Ignacio though going three streets here, and also he has the diamonds, so the likely missed draws right are not so much he blocks that so that's a bit of a problem I, I i've seen him make uh i've seen him make some big folds before but this one i just feels like he's not although i i don't i can't blame him no 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 he's not gonna fold here definitely maybe he's thinking uh, he won't raise obviously he's not, but he's, he's not raising he's he's oh, debating definitely. folding he's, he's just it's a call so he's probably just gonna call I'm telling you, he's well, he's definitely not raising, so he's considering folding. I think you're right. Normally he's gonna call, but I definitely wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if he folds. I don't think I would be shocked. That's all I'm saying. But man, he is uh he's deep in the tank. And look at that clock, that chess clock down to three minutes, 50 seconds. We're still eight-handed early on, as you see. Oh, he does fold oh, Malika. Oh, he folded. Malika, look at this. Look wow. at this. That's how you play on a final table, guys. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm look, the, the line looks very strong. And like I said, I think the actual the fact that he had the flush draw, his opponent put the three streets on of uh, pressure. He just ultimately thought that I, you know, I, I'm beat by ace queen. Maybe the player flatted aces. He, he didn't block flat, aces. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's I think he could put him on set. He didn't three bet him. Ace queen would probably yeah. three three flop, you know, so a set or or a straight because a flop six seven would give someone a straight. I don't. I'm not sure if someone would call with six seven. Maybe in a position he had a position. So good. I think play. I, think, I guess. <laughs> I think ultimately too the fact that he had the two diamonds in his hand. You know that was also kind of one of the, the most likely bluffs are missed diamonds and the fact that he had the diamonds that worried him a bit. So that'd be an interesting hand to talk to Victor about. He is. You know, definitely, again, he's capable of making big calls, big folds. That's a beautiful thing about poker. That some of the best players in the world don't always get it right as well. Uh, I see in the chat. What's up, everyone? Good, Great to see you guys and girls. We are going to be playing to a winner today. Again, Jeff Gross here alongside Malika Razavi. She is the guest today, and she is getting to see some very exciting what we're used to every week. Malika, you got to tune in more often. We got to have you call in as a guest and hang out. This is a, it's a fun, fun final table with a big purse. I love this. This This is so much fun. Uh, I it's just a, love watching the game. You know, you learn a lot. I mean, looking, seeing something like this, it's just like it wows me, and it's amazing. Like he's turning that um, uh, hand. You know, he folds that hand. Like I don't know if I would find the fold there. 
which which obviously that makes him a better player than me, you know, um, uh, because he would he will find faults in those positions where sometimes I can't. I will find it very hard to fold in those positions. So. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a good rule as well. Like it's, 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 you know, the, the world-class players are willing to make more big folds. And again, not always correctly, right? That's uh, that, that, that time we saw that he, he would have had the best hand if he called. That's right. So hey, cr crazy hand. I actually, like I said about the, the, I say this, it doesn't even feel like a job and the guests always really appreciate coming on, but it is fun, right? It's fun to watch and kind of, it's like a forced study session. We get the amazing audience to tune in with us. Let us know where you guys are watching from in the world. Again, we have South Africa here, Miami over here, and we are seeing some high level poker going on. Some big bluffs, big calls, big all-ins, big ICM considerations, and getting to see some of the world's best whole cards up, which is always, always fun. And I, I would love to talk. I think that would be Victor's reasoning if, if he said he would fold. But that's one. I know you said you've chatted to him and you met him a while ago. So be curious to hear what, what he says on that particular hand. That was very, very, very curious. I think because uh, he was holding the, you know, as you said, the flush draw. Um, I think he put the, his opponent on a set. Um, that's what I believe. Um I mean, six, seven, would he call pre-flop to have a straight? Uh, the opponent went for, you know, flop, turn, and river bet, and he made it a, a big bet on the river. Um, so what is Manolovsky putting him on? Is he blocking with the area? There is a queen. So uh, probably he thought that, that he could have a set in his hand. Yeah, that was, yeah, exactly. Here we go. Kings to nines, huge pot as well. Four to one favorite. Uh -huh. Rodrigo, the Brazilian aggressive, gets his opponent to get it in. And he is going to turn a king, which means uh -huh. that he would need a 10, ten to on chop. the river. Just <laughs> the chop, not going to be. Uh -huh. It's a five. And uh -huh. we are going to see another elimination. Mr. Doberman, who does come in as. I think one of the shorter stacks does have a pretty impressive resume here going out in eighth place. So every player now guaranteed over $80,000. The next jump will push us over the six figure mark. And again, of course, people at the final table, everyone's always rooting for people to bust, get the pay jumps, get the money going. And that is, that is a, a, all of a sudden we're, we're down to seven fairly quickly, a couple, a couple big eliminations. And one of the reasons I say about, being aggressive, Malik, of course, when you're aggressive, you know, you make the moves with ace three off, you get to pick up a lot of extra pots, but you also get paid and get people to kind of put it in a little wider than you. So you do get paid on your, your biggest hands, which is a nice function of that equation. So this is, uh, this has been very, very fast start for this final table, two eliminations early. Wow. That's Man. very true. Big hands there, big hands. And we are seeing Rodrigo, the Brazilian, Kind of get here. I mean, yeah. going for it. He's trying to put pressure on players. I mean, what it, it, what does he? You know, he doesn't have any equity right now. Like flush draw, a straight draw, gut shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's definitely there. Is the check raise as the board it gets a little more dynamic from the big line? Could have some more kind of straight draws or type of hands and it goes for the raise this is a victor look at and another thing victor's capable he's willing to make big folds i think he's just so sure and confident in his own game he's so sure about situations and 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 chipping up and finding ways to make chips that in spots where it's close or he's not sure i think he's just a little more willing to fold as well he says you know what i'll, I'll wait for a little more solid concrete spot and of course he plays the highest stakes cash games in the world so this isn't about money jumping 10,000 or whatnot. He's playing for the titles. He actually does have several of those. He has got one in season one and two in season two. This is season two of the Super Millions episode 63. And we are, let's see, so yeah, he's got three titles already and not a lot of titles amongst the other players. A matter of fact, there is not. I mean, yeah. This guy just uh, keep, um, was it him? He had kings. Yes. I got, I got to say an interesting fact here. A lot of the times we see players like we've had guys that have won five bracelets. We see a lot of different 
you know, we've seen all different types of results here. There is Victor's the only player out of every player today that has won a super millions, which is pretty unusual. He's won three, the whole field's won zero. We've had times where guys have won five, three, two, two, one, one, five. So today, a little less experience here. Victor may be, you know, harping on that as well, that he has been here more often. I, I, I'm telling you, Malika, I've seen him here like 80% of the final tables. Every week I see his name and I wonder if they sent me the last week's stats because I see him literally, it's an insane percentage. They should have a final table stat, not just in the money cashes and wins because final tables are, are uh, it's a strong stat to have. And he does it so many times. I gotta, I gotta get that, get that out there. I, I would love to know, but very talented player. And uh, we wish him luck today. That was your first pick. That was your first pick. You disregarded like four people in front. I mean, that is, that's, I'm going to see how that pans out. I like that. I, I like mean, that. You see, just... like he, he turns his hand down with Queen Jack there where a lot of people would find it very difficult to do. But as I said, like he does, uh, and sometimes he gets it right. And you know, you can't always be 100% correct, but you know, sometimes you fold the be um, best hand, sometimes you fold the worst hand, but it's just knowing your opponent, how they play. Uh, studying your the players when you play, I make notes on them, you know, and um, I'm sure he does the same. And maybe he has seen some moves from him, and that's why he decided, okay, you know what, maybe he could have a set. He played it like he had a set. Um, the best sizes was, you know, was showing that he has a nut. Yeah, it's Straight, um, yeah, very, very exciting. And here we are going to see again. Couple of nice playable hands in the late positions. We see the button, Jack 10 suited, Queen King off. Certainly a hand that could decide to get aggressive. And Ace 9 suited a pretty hand, but with the raise and potentially an all in. Let's see, Queen King does go all in. A little bit unlucky for just a mortal because he has got a playable pretty hand to see a flop, but not for the all in. Yeah, that was. Uh, couple of pretty hands and, and nice timing for queen king off gets the jack 10 suited to fold deny equity and then ace nine suited actually blind on blind would have probably okay. would have been playing for it there yeah um i'm trying to read some of the chats as you're talking Yeah, the chat's great. This is uh, every week they know, same time, same place, final table, 245 Eastern. Had some amazing guests. And again, Malika, thank you so much for coming on. Really do appreciate it. I know you're you're busy and and you are also in uh, South Africa right now. So you, you know, what time is later there, right? How late, how much later is it? Uh, the actual it difference in time? 20 past nine at night. Um, I explained to you what's happening in South Africa. We have load shedding. So in, in 35 minutes, we're going to have a load shedding. So I will probably go off for like a minute or two and try to get back. And I I just was literally, because we do a highlights on the show, I was just making notes about a hand, and I think we both just missed a ridiculously big pot. There was a 5.4 million chip pot from our friend Ignacio, not more on Ignacio, playing playing great poker, and we missed it. Um, oh, wow. Wow. We, uh, Shoved all in, ace six off. Shove all in with ace king. Oh, which let's uh, see, I don't see the hand. Wow, wow. I don't know how we both missed it because I'm literally I'm making notes from the stream on hand timestamps, and then I looked up and we just missed like the pot of the tournament somehow. So apologize for that. I was thinking, Lika, for being on and, and chat. If you could, king king versus queen nine. Okay, thank you very much, Rangoon. Appreciate you guys. We just missed them epically big hand, but that's why we got already a thousand people watching today because they got our backs, Malik. That's the nice thing. About that's this. good. No, I was focusing on the chats. I was trying to read the chats and uh, I wasn't giving attention to what was happening. That's crazy. We, we just like took a few seconds and we missed the big, biggest uh, hand <laughs> so wow. far. King um, versus nine. Bluffed into basically the nuts. So he bluffed to the nuts. Wow. <laughs> that's um didn't he just had kings like three hands ago um yeah that was that was that was quite a quite a few hands there i mean what a what a what a change in events and now ignacio has the chip lead as we see there is seven players left and he has got 5.3 million quite a big big swing and here he is out of position against 
Victor, he is going to go ahead and shoot out on the four, five, four against a seven. So let's see what Victor comes up with here. Tricky spot, seeing the lead out, see players understand range advantage, board textures, what they represent. And this is L Joseph 62 going to come with a bet and Victor starting to think about it's not so much now, right? It's the, it's the, it's the further streets that matter when you call with a seven high thinking you could be good. What, what, what does your opponent have? He could he somehow lead a four. Very I unlikely. Your, your eight high is, is good here to call the dry board. I would call with a side from the bottom. Um, yeah, I, I, this is now he gets checked to, this is a bit of a weird card. Cause if you call and you think you're good, it does complete some draws. Also a hand like six, three, which would be betting, right? Kind of a, a draw. This is, this is interesting. King 10 does have no, has King high. It's got no actual, I mean, it's going to be hard to be good here when he gets called. Um, it's, it's going, he's going to definitely check here. He cannot turn King 10 into a block. He's going to probably check fold. That's yeah. what's going to yeah, and and uh, Victor actually with the a seven off probably trying to pick a hands that he's beating to bet the flop and then slow down. Like the problem is he's got like some weak fives or whatnot. But as it turns out, there it is. There is a hand such as King Ten or some Broadway cards that took a stab. And there's a nice popper. Victor hanging tough at one point seven million. He is in a very very favorable position from where he started and he is still not one of the shortest stacks. And he's getting right back to work with the King Queen off. Going to open into three players and likely just take down right for deuce off so he's chipping up things mm -hmm. are going well and yeah this is I like uh, it. he's going it slowly but surely you know slowly building up back yeah it's a good spot he yeah right now i can open and this bolts just pick up the blinds it's always nice to just pick up blinds when you open and especially when you have like king 10 off you know king nine whatever your hands you just like pick up the blinds in this stage is very good well we are seeing some special stuff today we've seen a very exciting start hope you guys are enjoying we are going to see the ace three suited open and ace 10 this is a tricky one you think you probably have Surely the best hand. You also know that there's a lot of ICM. The chip leader and both players hit the flop very hard. Ace three suited. It's got backdoor flush draw. The two makes a straight. A three is also good enough for a win. And just immortal now on the the ace four five two heart in the club board calls seven on the turn. Still good. A little bit scary, but as it turns out, let's see. Just gonna go into check call formation. And now if you're Ignacio, it's kind of interesting because like you you realize also your opponent's going to be on the tighter side so like you have such a strong hand but he does check back and look at this makes wow. this a wheel wow. <laughs> he, makes it. he makes it i see in the chat they ask uh guys i'm not arabic i'm from iran so persian uh, i saw someone say she's arabic i don't speak arabic um i speak farsi which is persian i'm from iran and I see a lot of players saying uh, Gigi's uh, not working in America and is banned. Do you, do you think uh, they would be able, like they would mm, unban it or they would legalize it? Um, you know, it's interesting because I I've you know I grew up in Michigan and and that was a state that just came back online. So Black Friday was April fifteenth, tax day two thousand eleven. So it's been over ten years. I never thought. We would still be where the U.S. wouldn't be legalized uh, at, at a at a whole, right? I never thought that would happen, and I I don't really know at this point. I'm a bit confusing, although I do think that there are, Michigan came online, Pennsylvania came online. There's already New Jersey, uh, Nevada, and Delaware, and I've heard talks about some other major states. So I'm hopeful, but it's very it's just kind of crazy, right? Like imagine you could play in your country or all over the world, like the liquidity, how big the tournaments would be. Poker's so popular now; it's so amazing. It's just like you know, it's kind of crazy, right? It's crazy that this is not something that we all understand. The game of skill, chess, backgammon, these beautiful games, poker. It's not, it's not, it's not sports betting. It's not slots. It's not roulette. It's just crazy that this isn't legalized. And honestly, like daily fantasy now in sports betting is in the U.S. got basically legalized, like as at a federal level. So, you know, for the majority, it's just crazy. It's, it's really crazy. It is. I mean, look at here right now. 
just a mortal made a bet on a river and oh he called he called it up so he raised and then got min raised basically and got got called so i uh, got paid off just a mortal a tricky spot there a little maybe a little light to lead out um but but at the same time ace tens pretty good hand he did get got, got min raised and ignacio gonna suss out some nice value there very interesting hand and ignacio gets richer yeah, richer we saw. yeah. I think yeah, it's, it's better to check all than bet raise call. I mean, if, if someone is raising you, usually players don't bluff on the river if they somebody's betting to them. Um, it's very rare that the player is turning their hand into a bluff. Especially he knows the big blinds ranges, so the big blind can have three in his range. Um, so I, I probably would not call that race, even if it's a main race. I wouldn't bet anyway on, on that river. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a tricky spot when you get, especially when you lead out and get raised. It's very, very tricky, the min raise. Very uh, interesting hand. That was for sure an interesting hand here. Victor gets the goods, gets to open up against a really nice spot when you get ace king, chip leader, gonna be opening so wide. We do see the ace three off as that and does go ahead and push it up so just immortal and the viva egypto is now very short those players are under you know, they're kind of getting in the the danger zone there everyone else fairly healthy as we see seven players still remain we'll remind you we do have a giveaway today I invite you to hit the thumbs up the, the keyword will be coming in very shortly once we get down to probably four-handed i'll do the giveaway so you guys have a chance to hit the thumbs up and be ready for that jack salter haven't seen his name in a while, but one of the stronger players for so long live in particular with over eight and a half million dollars in tournament earnings. No stranger to the, the high stakes and the, the bright lights trying to add 347 to his resume today. I mean, online, Malika, who would have thought five, 10 years ago that we would see Tuesday afternoon prize pools and for 347,000 the first pretty crazy where the games con that the the production the pageantry obviously the coin rivet that 200k invitational you just played got to see the triton stamp on how well and high production they have done and taken the game so it's uh i'd say poker's in good hands in good hands right now it's amazing i loved it i mean at triton i even mentioned to you that it, it was the first time i played the triton and i found it super amazing the poker community it has grown so much in the past few years and uh, it's just getting better and better i mean look at online as you mentioned um, a few years ago there was no wsop online uh, 2020 was the first time that they run the wsop i think that the COVID one positive part of COVID was uh, a lot of the um, people started focusing more into online and online became bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm sure in the next few years, uh, it's even going to um, explode. That's what I, I believe is uh, there is a lot of new players coming into the scene. Um, I look at my country. Um, there's so many players that are banned. I mean, you can you cannot play, but we have so many players playing in so many different sites. You know, but they, they're not allowed to play in, obviously, in GG, which they don't play, but there's so many different sites that they play. Uh, I can see how much people love poker and how much people want to play it. So I hope uh, for the sake of people in America, that it can get legalized and my country one day. Yeah, it's uh, it's like, I mean, well, let's see. We're, we're both young, spirited, and optimistic. So let, let's hope one day that would be the case where this does happen and you know, it's a, it's a beautiful game, as we know, and and I know that we're on the same side on that. That we are, uh, it, it's 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 very much so a game that I know we want to see be be given the respect it deserves. And I know a lot of big poker fans here as well in the chat enjoying it today and in general looking for that liquidity. I, I one day worldwide liquidity. It's, it's a crazy place. Like when when you look around and realize like stuff that's happening in the world it is really it's amazing that we're in 2022 and there's these type of things that are going on like you like culturally and just like basic respect right and understanding that it's just like it it really is i don't want to get down a rabbit hole but it is 
it's it's just kind of wild right it's just wild that people aren't allowed to kind of do what they want as long as it's within reason and respect and and people are kind of oppressed and have all this this stuff but you know i'm like we're here to talk about poker relax have fun and and i know you could we could dive into uh miss global iran here you've you've answered some high questions about society and life i don't want to put you on the spot and we're not going to go there's so many rabbit holes right now in the world that we could go on but right now we got we got some high level poker let's let's focus on that as we see a another spot here ignacio and victor gonna go tango no player having a pair as we know in no limit hold them it's so difficult to actually make a pair let's see if ignacio wants to lead the turn he doesn't ace four still the best hand still in the lead and victor does check back seven on the river is no change no help for either player but ignacio does have a you know potentially he could have maybe more a 10 that thing would change does check he just says you know what white flag quick check back from victor will be happy to win with ace high on that board important pot look at victor just chipping up you know he's 1.1 1. 1 million 1. 1.4 makes a big fold that wasn't correct but no problem and now here he is 2.3 million and playing post flop finding his way to a very nice position really tied now for Actually, I mean, basically right, third place, right? There's one big stack. There's 3.2 million stack. He's sort of tied for third place. Rodrigo was chip leader. He's sort of just below and fourth. And then we have the two short stacks. So a, a so far so good for for Victor as we see the pressure get put on by Al Joseph 62. Ace Queen off gonna raise. Ace nine off is probably just gonna fold. Don't think maybe you could four bet, but not the time really of the tournament to do that. But when you're sitting, you know, with 2.2 .2 million, you can't, you can't really do much but folding that hand. Who do you think? Who is your pick that you think is going to win tonight? Come on, uh, let's see. I one, mean, who's one person that you think is going to win tonight? I mean, obviously no. one person. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pick Al Joseph 62. I know that Ignacio's got the chip lead and playing great, but I think Al Joseph 62, I've seen him also chip up, making some good decisions, putting on some pressure. And I just, I, I don't know. I'm just something, something jumping out for the Canadian there for me. What about who, who do you got? Don't just say Victor. You can't take him first and just pick him <laughs> all the time. Malika, who, who do you think? Um, based on their play that I've been watching how they play. Uh, I still think Victor. <laughs> I, I gave a good reasoning, right? I I like it. I get it. I get it. I get it. All good. Yeah, that's allowed. I mean, he's chipping up. It's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick, of course. I mean, the guy's always in striking distance. And he has three titles. The rest of the field combined has zero in the Super Millions format. So the experience is definitely there for Victor. That's for sure. I mean, it's, it's, you know, you can have experience. It doesn't matter how much chip you have on a final table. You can have, I've I've won tournaments before with one and a half big blind. I won a tournament with one and a half big blind playing heads up ladies event in Barcelona, triple uh, eight, and I won it. One and a half big blind. She folded to one and a half big blind. Wow. And that made me uh, win a few hands after each other and I took down the tournament. So, Anything is possible in poker. That's that's um, the fun part of poker. That's the beauty of poker. It's that you never know. Yeah, that is a very good point. It is. It's never over till it's over. You never know, and you just got to kind of put yourself in good situations, get deep, and you know stuff happens. Chips fly, a couple doubles, things can shift fast, and it's never over till it's over. Definitely a good lesson to live by in poker. And here, Jack Salter. With a favorable hand, he is out of position and not a bad Ooh, flop. Look flops at that. The nuts. Ooh, it's nice to flop the nuts, and it's against an early position raise. Definitely a spot where he could certainly going to see a, a small bet here. Let's I would say a quarter or a third of a bet pot size bet likely. He does have the range advantage. He does go actually a little bigger, more than fifty percent pot. And Jack has a decision now. Does he just call let the board not pair? No club, maybe whatever. Or do you just try to cooler someone? You know, maybe the guy has a set of tens or whatnot. But no, of course, calling makes the most sense as we see. And this is going to be a very clean turn. No board pair, no queen, no ace, no flush. No flush just, just clean living. And L. Joseph 62, who is aggressive, does he want to put pressure on a 10 or a jack? Maybe also realizing he doesn't have 
clubs in his hand. So maybe his opponent could have a club draw that he would be betting and charging or a pair and a flush. I think he's going to keep going here, Malika. I think he's going to tell a story. He could. He's under the gun. He ha he could have uh, ace king there. He could have, you know, he could rip uh, ace queen in his hand. But right now he decides to uh, not go with it, which I like it, which is stop bluffing. Yeah. <laughs> he should not on that turn. I mean, what is the small blind? He could have a queen nine in his hand. He can have jack 10. He can have king jack, king 10. He's going to flat flop, pre flop with so many of those hands in his range. And it's best to give up on that turn. Yeah. I, I, I think all in all, in a vacuum, it is. And look at the sizing about third third pot, a little less. Going to try to get called here. Maybe, maybe a king, you know, ace king, king queen. Maybe some hands that slow down on the turn that has some showdown but ultimately king three i'm sorry ace three suited just doesn't really have a call in there can't think of too much that he's beating and does relinquish so it is a of course we're on a slight delay that was the first break of the day for the players but we are fast forwarding through that we will continue the action we will see with seven players left who is going to be taking this down this is legitimately uh been a this has been a fast final table so far we've seen a few knockouts in the stack sort of the big stack segregating and moving away i think i believe we do not have a break they do show that for the players but that is that is let me just double confirm with that let me um queue up again let me just tell you guys there's a look at the payouts and we see 347 up top everyone guaranteed eighty thousand. that's right we will fast forward through the break and we are going to Look at a blind on blind situation right here. Jack Salter and L Joseph 62. And we can see a limp. Definitely a hand. Joseph L Joseph 62 could raise. Checking back makes more sense with that particular hand. It's a pretty good hand. You usually want to have sort of the worst hands and the best hands and check back something that's decent not to get check raised. King nine is still in the lead, although eight, 10, ace, two diamonds. The Jack seven does have a gut shot. We will see a check. Over and to El Joseph. No diamond, no pair, and a interesting card on the turn as this will now make Jack Seven suited, double gutted, right? A nine. Yes. Um, is that right? Yeah, nine or a king, and nine, nine point, or a king, and for king nine is a gut gut shot. Yes, has the jack or. I guess would not want the king, but king nine still in the lead. And now jack seven decides that enough equity to start betting. Up and down a straight draw is a good bet. I don't think king nine can call here with the gut shot. Um, I hardly doubt he would call here. Yeah, I mean, does beat some hands, though, right, in a limp pot. Definitely some flushes and such that could look at that. Look at it. Oh, decides, wow. This is, this is, put this one in. I'll put this in the notepad as well. Decides to take a blocker to the nuts. What do you have, King Jack? What do you have, Jack 9? He has, it's a pretty good candidate, right? He does have Jack 9 that he would maybe he play could. like that. And King Jack possibly checking back pre-flop. So that He's was, blocking one of the cards. He's blocking the 9, so he did good move. Very nice play. Like I said, that's that's my pick. You ask me, you got your pick, Victor. I got L Joseph 62. I'm telling you, game. I recognize that. I like he that move games. actually. He went with the blocker. What is his opponent uh, opponent could have? The obviously you need to look at how the players are playing. Uh when he's betting that 10, he could just have a queen, he could have a pair, and he's never gonna uh, call the race on that turn. So it's a very good move. Yeah, very nice hand. Thank you, everyone. That is me typing the chat. I see you watching. I appreciate you. Some new faces, some familiar faces, and we are in for a treat here for a winner. 347000 on a Tuesday. Pretty special stuff going on. Let's see who is going to claim that money. We have got Victor chipping up. King six suited. King six suited with some big stacks. Later positions decides not to open. I think you would see him open that sometimes. Wow, he just opened shop. Yeah, I mean, look, putting pressure, the difference between 
seventh and six decides thinking that there's definitely a little extra equity maybe his opponent isn't going to want to call yeah, off and he up. can afford it and nice nice play there nice play picks up the pot and as we see an ace deuce off a couple of a lot of real hands nine pin suited is definitely going to consider three mm -hmm. betting and ace ten off and also queens of course with the 10 blind does flat and queen's going to get a very very nice spot here because wow unless Rodrigo even like maybe squeezes in the front that would be crazy if he squeezed because uh I guess you'd be committed right with the math if he squeezed and then queen shove for like if he makes it you know 480 obviously or 360 or 380 I think he would probably squeeze up to like 400k but he doesn't and as it stands gonna be a big pickup for Viva look at this if he shoves which he I mean, well, of course he's shoving. He, he has, has to shove. Look at how much is in the middle. He's picking up 120, 120, 240, plus 30, 70. He's getting like, he's literally getting 50% stack increase with no showdown. And 10 9 suited has the chips, but doesn't really want to call off because, of course, can be against the hands such as jacks or queens. And, you know, this is, uh, this is quite a spot for the queens. Wow. I like that 9-10 if he would have uh, make a 3-bit there. It's a good hand to 3-bit, 9-10 suited. And he, he flat called. Well, yeah, I mean, considering it, I would be very shocked. Actually, he's thinking point. about calling. <laughs> I mean, the price is decent. You know, you're calling whatever but the problem is when you're against that over pair which is definitely likely and he does go ahead and fold so yeah that was uh that was a nice nice swing and just immortal not gonna love that right that was the guy he was tied with as the shortest now his risk premium is the lowest if he were to go out but he is gonna be looks like now the shortest stack by a decent margin so let's see and victor getting a walk with that same nine ten suited hands so victor keeps on keeping on here no real distributed hands you can see ace three is actually uh close so if snap full full, ten blinds cut off <laughs> i like that video he just played yeah there's some nice nice features functionality on Gigi, of course, there it is. This guy, he's, he's showing, he's realizing that there it is. He's, uh, I don't know what that, I haven't seen that one before, but he's got that this bird. This is fun. You know, I actually I haven't seen, I've seen it once or twice, but this is actually fun. You're, you're able to do that. Yeah, that's, um, there, there is some cool features and he's really letting it go right now. He's using, he's using all the gifts he's got. He's enjoying it. <laughs> he is, he is having fun. That is what it's about. And Victor going to get a little bit of heat from Jack blind on blind the King three off the sides. That is a good hand to go ahead and attack and look at this. Uh Oh, Malika, wow. Malika, this could be trouble. How many blinds we're talking like 33 blinds for the button. We got, Oh, well, actually, if he opens, nine will three bits. Aces will four bits. Nine. I, I mean, flat calling here. Would you flat call nines? He's hijack open. I think against this stack, you probably would normally, but like, I think, I'm mean, sorry, versus you maybe three bet and go with it versus this player. And then if you get resistance behind, you could fold, but like, cause you're not, you really want to Just flat. Back goals, I think he's going to, I think he's going to raise, if he was deeper, I think he would flat the, the Viva, but I think he'll probably raise it. Yeah. yeah. It does raise. Yeah. Three bets, four bets. And obviously King Queen, would you think King Queen will call? And all in, I think he has to. He has ten bigs just over eleven. Well, no, because it's it's gonna go, it's gonna go raise, and then I think he's gonna fold. Yeah, he's gonna fold with this. He got lucky. If it wasn't, if the aces didn't wake up and he got three bet, that would be a very not not fun situation either. But yeah, here uh, he's gonna get bailed out, and Jack trying to think what size to go here. Like eight one point one. Wow. Yeah, so now, uh, wow, Victor snap folds nicely. Done. I would, I would ask Victor a snap fold now. So it's a small blind range that's four betting, and you're already two betting. So I would probably a snap fold jacks there too. Um, Yeah, that's uh, 
Nice. Very nice. The very, very, very nice 5.5 Ignacio. We missed it, uh, Malika. Our biggest hand of the day, we missed. But we are we are in the action. <laughs> we're in the mix. I, I, we were talking We were poker. folks on the chat. We were on the chat. You know, we're talking with them. We're hanging out. And we missed the, the hand of the day. But I'm telling you, we got the best in the biz. Best best people in the chat, the, the most alert in tune. And we are going to not miss another big hand today. I can tell you that we're seven handed playing to a winner. I'm excited to be here. And I think we are, we got a dinner on the at risk. And we also have the chat playing for $50 GG ticket, maybe double if one of the guys, Rodrigo, um, Salter or Victor were to win. So they got a sweat as well for the extra. And uh, yeah, that is, that is, um, that is definitely a, exciting exciting seven we have here i've seen some some cool plays and we got viva dropping us some nice um, is that a raven is that what that is is that, it looks like a raven is that the bird what kind do you know what kind of bird that is down there i'm not mm, sure I, I i would know in persian uh i have to google it what is in english let me just google it Ask the guys in the chat. Guys, what do you think? What bird it is? All right. Well, we are. Oh, wow. I mean, look at, I mean, my man's got a, got a house right here with King eight on the King eight, eight and Ignacio with King seven suited in the small blind has got a little bit of a problem here. Cause really no way he can fold at this juncture. He does call, he's going to be out of position with a about 670 in the middle 680 and he's going to be on the river facing a bet surely it's a crow yeah okay let me just let's, i'm a yeah it's that a makes crow sense. yes i got it <laughs> i was looking at it you were talking so i didn't want to interrupt <laughs> it's a crow i knew in persian we say kalok <laughs> so i knew it's kalok but i didn't know it's um I think he's gonna go for a very small size to get a call from a king. I mean, he has a king himself. The stuff misses. Yeah, I think the sizing is curious, but he does go for a little more than fifty percent. Um, wow. Well, that was almost a snap goal. Yeah, nice, nicely done. L Joseph 62 is up to 4 million now closing the lead on first with the 4.9 Jack Salter up to 3.1 Victor hanging tough at 1.6 that we see the two short stacks, the Brazilian who had the chip lead took a big, big pot. And look at my man, L Joseph 62, Malika, eight, nine off. I, I'll tell you, it's okay to be wide, but he is stretching the boundaries a little. <laughs> He's going to go for it. He has to. Dry board. He's going to bet. Get a call. No, he checked. I mean, opening 8-9 and then giving up on the flop. Yeah, this is... This is uh... He picks up the gut shot, though. You know, he can turn some equity. There are some hands that he could get to fold. Let's see if you're going to open an eight, nine off. You definitely are comfortable playing post flop and you're comfortable some dicey situations. So he is going to go ahead and bet right into a top, top, though. Don't think it's going to work. And now as the seven, three, three, Jack seven, he has a bit of a problem because he has nine high, 900 K in the middle. And it is a for sure important pot, right? This would be, this is essentially for the chip lead he does wave the white flag says that's enough and ignacio did he, did he bet the turn i missed that um yes he did he did fire the turn and, and got called and then he just waved the white flag on the river
I mean, he's he opened a very a very wide range, eight nine up. Very wide, very. I mean, literally, <laughs> that is um, that is out there, and we see Victor actually, who hasn't really had a massive stack today or a massive hand, gets two queens and jack with eights for sure. This is interesting. I think generally you would see a flat, although the two blinds are very short. Is there a chance he three bets here? I think it's possible, but you know, he does that. Look at the fold, Malika, a, a straight fold. I mean, that is uh, very interesting. I guess also part of it is Victor's stack, right? He's off about his stack size, just does picking the implied odds. Do I want to flat? Someone else squeezes behind, maybe the 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 big blinds jam. So that was um I don't think uh I don't think many people would fold there. And you know, it, it makes a lot of sense why though. Uh I, I that'd be an interesting hand if you're looking to improve what, your game. What did study. You have? I, I didn't see pocket eights. Folded who, eights. Who uh, Jack Salter folded to just an open, a single open from Victor. Wow, that is um, quite. It's interesting. Thanks. He was under the gun. Victor was under the gun, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was well. Wow, very curious. So here we go. Here's eights. A little different situation. Two eights with ten blinds. This is a fist pump. Almost eleven big blinds gonna go ahead and i imagine just surf it in he does just that no customers behind gonna pick it up and yeah that is uh that is a pickup right there so well done the guys are saying pay attention malika yes i will <laughs> i live in south africa oh he picks up another hand yeah is he just gonna shop here I guess so. Yeah, that's uh that's a nice couple of hands. Viva, he's he's rocked the emojis he's nice up to a million. Part. Yeah, and the blinds just go up now as we see. The blinds are up to 35K, 70K. So timely, just Immortal is going to hit the big blind next hand with about, what, six and a half blinds. So he is in a bit of trouble as he will post that. And you can see that this is, yeah, getting to it now. This level is going to be important. We've been seven-handed for a while, and we see a uh, a six off. We know King Jack's going to play. Definitely a good He's hand. To, yes, I think that is that's one good you can... Hand. You can just put in that that would be, but he flats me. Oh, wow. Surprise, <laughs> surprise me as well. They are deep, and you know it's just uh, he has the chip lead, so maybe doesn't want to relinquish it. And Rodrigo, who's shown us the ace three off squeeze early, is he may be thinking about something other than calling? Although calling makes a lot of sense when you're closing the action, he you have a nice suited lead. king. <laughs> he takes the lead. <laughs> yes, from uh, from first to third. From I, I, I like to three bet with the King Jack. You're sitting in chip lead. You want to put pressure. He's going to have uh, a very wide range that he's going to open from the bottom. So it's a very good hand to three bet and get the big blind out of the hand. Yeah. But obviously, he's thinking he doesn't want to go against another big stack. Yeah, this is uh, this is now interesting. I mean, I think he also realized like the the six seven. It's unlikely that the the small blind has six seven. I guess could have six seven suited, but he has more six seven suited. He also just might have the best hand, and now he's got backup. Right, he's got the the flush draw, the king high flush draw to go along with his eight with second pair and a nice hand there really nicely done from Rodrigo just being comfortable understanding what what's going on where he's at what he's up against and what he's doing and here we see just a mortal who is very short now king jack off and a couple of three better hands in here seven handed than king jack off king queen under the gun tricky tricky does go for the raise oh, this is yeah um it is quite tricky I mean you, you don't want to go all in with queen king off uh, from under the gun, um, sitting so short. I think if you're sitting on a button and, and everybody folds, I think you can't shop, but from here. 
Wow. Man, nice, nice recognition. Very nice recognition with the 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 ace jack off that the hands again. Look at just the mortal who actually has a pretty good hand, but it's gonna get away from it. And king queen off. This is this is also Rodrigo picking on knowing that the, the guy would be risking 20,000 if he even called off. Maybe he could get a hand such as ace queen off the fold. So he does take ace jack and shove, and he's also going to put like tens and nines in a really tough position. Of course, king queen off really can't, isn't going to be looking to call here. Um, you this know, would that's be a very uh, tough call. Shout out to David Cook. I love, you know, YouTube, people used to say YouTube was harsh and, and a lot of trolls, but I've, I've had nothing but an amazing experience with, with YouTube and this show on the Super Millions. I think I've hosted like, I don't even know. It's been a lot. We've done a lot of shows now, 20, 20 or so maybe that I've taken over and, and I've really enjoyed the, the YouTube time. I've spent so much time on Twitch over the years, which is a great platform as well. But this is, um, this is, have you thought about streaming like that? Are you thinking about doing any content, any, any commentary and stuff? Obviously here today, appreciate you joining as a guest, but is that something that you would, you would consider doing some streaming? Yes, actually I have been thinking about streaming for, uh, I had some offers from some online casinos to do streaming. Um, it, it has always been at the back of my mind. A lot of people always told me, you do great. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to start with the Twitch. I used to do Twitch for coin poker back in the day when they just started. Um, and I just drifted because I traveled a lot and I was playing a lot of poker. But now I have more time. So I think I'm going to start uh doing the twitch yeah it's uh it's fun it's like it's cool. one of those things though you really just got to be ready to put in a real grind because it's like it's not something you just do like once every month and i think that's the thing though if like the world series comes on right for gg for example it's great if you have it set up and it's ready because you don't want to like you don't want to come and then be figuring out how to do it you want to have your setup have it all ready and then like okay hey the world series is coming maybe for a month or three weeks and it's online and maybe you can just like you know you just you go and then you're ready to set up and start streaming and do it so that would yeah i think you'd enjoy it i think it makes it a lot of fun and uh, I, I highly recommend it but it's also a lot of work you got to realize you know what you're signing up for a lot of people i've talked to over the years they're like i want to stream i want to do this and then you know you realize it's a it's a real commitment so you have to you have to have the time allocated for it and, and be ready to do it so that's that'd be great just a reminder my power might just go off uh but i'll we'll come back what you told me is so mind-blowing i've never heard that in my life i had no idea that that was could you maybe explain real quick as we see a, a flop here where it's not a lot going on jack does have a uh, seven and ace nine victor could be curious to stick around with some key cards uh, there a diamond and maybe the best hand i think he's going to call one but tell me ex exactly what you mean where your power might go offline what that means so we have load shedding in south africa uh and we have okay he proved to a nine right now uh i get excited when he's winning uh, so we have a uh, load shedding in south africa uh, that means we don't have power. We have like a stage, a stage two, a stage three, and a stage four. It goes up. And during the day, the power gets cut for two and a half hours each time. And today, we didn't have power three times. So now 10 o'clock is going to go off and comes back at half past 12. And uh, so we have been sitting with this issue for a while, but it's just getting worse. Um, I think it's just the government not really doing anything about it. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. I, I did not, I was not aware of that, that that was a problem. It's very difficult because when the power goes off, you don't have internet. At some, at one point, um, there was no internet. There was no, not even, you couldn't even make a call out to, you know, to anybody. So um, they improved a little bit. Now the internet works very little um but obviously a lot of people using um generators you know ups's um to get it going but it's very inconvenient it's very inconvenient yeah that's um as we see the ace that is very inconvenient it's not inconvenient however we get aces under the gun at a final table it's nice and we are going to see victor maybe giving a little respect i don't know the esports suited it yeah, probably goes cold. against 
it, it's it hurts him. I know that hurts Victor, who likes to play and be creative, and that's a fun hand to play. But he does go ahead and give it up. And Jack on the button with King Nine suited, also a hand that he would want to be, you know, considering to play, but not against another gun and off that stack size, as we see uh, King Nine from the chip leader. Okay, does. my power is off. And Malika, you, you you told us it would happen. It's like you are a magician. We saw the magic. Some people can I know I've seen it. You're a, tri a fantastic magician. She did call her trick right there. We love. Oh, Malika in the dark, everyone. Can we clip that? We met Malika <laughs> is in. Yeah. So no power, but you have internet because you have a generator or a backup, right? I like it. It's good lighting. That's good. So I I did buy the UPS as a backup today, um. So my internet wouldn't cut. <laughs> But obviously the light is a bit of a, sorry, you're going to see me in the dark right now. Actually the lighting, you know, we can still see you. It's good. <laughs> I, th I thought we were, I thought your whole street, everything would shut down, but this is a first. Um, this ha this did happen actually at a live. We were playing a pretty good stakes poker game and the whole power went out in the building and everything. We all had our cell phone cameras <laughs> out and we're doing the thing. I've done that before, but you know, it's, the show must go on. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta still gamble. You gotta play. And it's it's all good. We're uh, we're we're here. We're here with you. We're down to seven handed. The blinds have gone up. The players have remained in for some time. But here we are going to likely see some collisions coming up on these levels as we are. Yeah. <laughs> I look it's scary, like a scary movie, right? <laughs> Halloween. This is this is Halloween week, right? Yes, this is uh, we are. That's, that's what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, I think uh, this is fine. All right, ace jack, ace eight, both players gonna feel okay with their hands. It is blind on blind. Ace jack suited, still the best hand. Ace eight off. What to do? What to do? Does take the free one. Ace jack gonna play here. I mean, blind versus blind. I think we'll go check, check. No need to turn your face into a plus. Yeah, ace jack, big pot. Good, good pot for the chip leader. 5.6 million has a pretty big lead. If you look around, 3.7 million direct position on the next biggest stack. Kind of has an amazing seat, really, right? He's got the next Jack Salter with 2.7 and then a talented victory. He's sort of got everyone where he wants him. He also has the best hand here with two eights on the button. Let's see what Jack does. Does sides to... You know, one thing I noticed about Jack and some of the great players, right? It's like understanding the dynamic, understanding what's happening in, in time, right? He's like, I'm Jack Salter. I've won $9 million. I'm just going to go crazy and rate. No, like here, the two big stacks are on your left. There's two really short stacks. Respect ICM, understand the flow and the situation and the table and go from there. And look at this bottom set on the, on the oh, wow. Ace Jack, a pretty big flop. Now the good news for, um, the good news for Joseph is he got a moderate hand. He doesn't have like ace jack here. It's not necessarily going to be crazy, although I don't think he's just going to check fold to a bet. And of course, with the set ace jack eight, we're going to see a bet. Pretty wet board. You know, there's hands like queen 10 that's double gutted. He doesn't have a club. So uh, the sizing here, he actually could go decent, big, decently big, unblocks the ace. I like the big bet here. I like it a lot. Yes, I agree with you on that uh, On that completely. It's so many flush draws, so many, you know, straight draws, gutters. Like, he's protecting his hand. W do you think he would find a pull here with not having any backdoor, just have a second pair? You know, I think he's going to be able to get away from this with the the size. It's just so big. You're, like, asking a lot to go right. The guy's the chip leader. Your second, you really don't want to be playing a massive pot. And like, you got to believe there's going to be, even if the thing is too, if he hits his card, right? Like if you were to hit the King, he doesn't even know, or I'm sorry, if he pairs his other card, like that could be the straight of his opponent. So yeah, I think that was a good decision to relinquish. And I do like, of course, Ignacio couldn't see exactly what he had, but unblocking the ACE and not having any clubs in his hand i think that's a, a good size right where you could really put your opponent in a tough situation there so that's um that, that was a nice that was very nicely done and uh six million for ignacio all of a sudden oh aces the sevens a flat fold there 
you should see in front of me right now i have like so many lights <laughs> around me oh wow look at this flop no wow. we <laughs> wow Oh. It makes it pretty small. Yeah, I mean, aces on the queen seven deuce rainbow, about as clean as it gets. Queen on the oh, that, turn. Oh, that saves him. That saves him. That <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> because. Uh, I mean, you see, he 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 made a check and he just flat gold with aces, and he's aware that his opponent could have sevens because he flat gold pre flop. He could have sevens, eights, nines, uh, sometimes tens if he decides not to three bet. He can have ace queen, ace jack. Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, if you lay it down here, this would be really. Uh, this is something that. Some pros would do. Lay their hands down. Obviously, wow. can't fold. Yeah, really would be an insane fold. But now, when he gets called, I think, yeah, you can. This this is on the river. The sizing. I, I mean, it's hard to think that your opponent would bet flop, bet turn, and bet this river without at least a queen. As we see it, he's even higher up in the range than that. So I like to see a, a very small sizing, like 10 to 15% of the pot to get a call. Wow, he makes it so big here. Obviously, he's putting him on a queen. He wants a call from a queen. That's what he's thinking. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I, I just can't imagine getting called there, um, but, um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, I this don't know, I don't like that, I don't like that bet size, reason why he, Victor checked the flop, if he had the queen, I would, I would probably assume he had ace queen, he would, like, uh, bet again, he was a pre-flop raiser. Um, I would uh, rather go there like at most like 20% bet on the river to get called call from like aces, kings, or um, even a queen um, in his hand. Yeah. You don't want to scare players off uh, when you have almost a lot. Almost. Yeah, this is this has been this has been seven handed for a while. But again, this is one of those things at a final table when the, the chip stacks sort of consolidate. This time we're seeing a bit of separation from Ignacio, and now we see two really short stacks, and some of the other stacks are kind of getting, you know, not really chipping up as well. And Ignacio looks like he's willing to play the role of chip leader, opening like king three suited under the gun, you know, seven eight handed. So I think we're gonna see some some real pressure put on here. And now we, I mean, there's nowhere for just a mortal to go right this is literally he is down to like four four blinds essentially and he's going to hit the big blind here very soon so this is uh this is definitely move time victor with the king queen off we see him go ahead in the cutoff with a, a, a strong hand but this is these are always interesting to see how players approach this too because there are two very short stacks right the guy's got like half of his stack who's in sixth or i'm sorry yes yeah, sixth place and he is in a you know shorter position but he's also comfortable and he decides that it is still too valuable to mess around and he does go ahead and disregard the other stacks goes and shoves it in and it's going to work that's a that's a big swing some players aren't willing to take that chance right and that is a huge pickup to get that extra 105 plus 60 you know that's 165k increase to a stack some players may fold or min raise and you know, decide to get away from it if there's other action. And that is a important pickup for Victor who stays in it. And here the chip leader is seeing a nice spot where he gets tens versus the short stack. He is going to be in a favorable position with only one with over. You. Yeah. He'll, he'll you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He is, uh, he is going to go ahead and 
be in a spot where the ace deuce off is going to be at risk. He does put a little raise in there just, just in case. Doesn't want Rodrigo to come in with some, you know, jack queen or king queen suited, have some equity. And this is a player at risk. We do see the tens to the ace deuce and picks up a gut shot. Little extra outs there. Three would make a straight, but the river is a it is it looks middling like a nine mm -hmm. it is a, a gg in the chat for our friend that is out in seventh place every player guaranteed hundred thousand just immortal is got two million in earnings gonna add to that resume on the super millions though getting a nice 80k score to go in there very nice this is a very 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 exciting kind of shakeout we have as we have a six million stack sort of maybe gets to start putting a lot of pressure likes to see that short stack in there and jack salter's been been chipping up and also sitting pretty nice though right now as we see six players left 100k big difference between 347 and 100,000. just kind of the first leg right the first part if you're at a final table get into that kind of middle lock up a decent score you've already doubled your money from when you came in for the day but there's so much to play for at this moment viva now the clear shortest stack remaining as we like to say the risk premium if, if they were to go out not a big deal now someone such as jack salter if he was to go out right now in six when he's got the third stack that would be a pretty big blunder and he does not want to take a coin flip for example so that is uh, sort of the middling stacks need to play tighter the chip leader can obviously open it up in the short stack is able to also take a risk because they don't mind if they do go out it's not such a big deal but let's see let's see how this plays out 6.4 million ignacio chipping up and el joseph 62 has been playing aggressive who's impressed you today malika who so far take victor out of it any question i ask you victor's not allowed to be <laughs> who's impressed you today um I think like I, I like the fact that uh, Joseph, the way he plays, he takes risks and he, you know, he adjusts his game and he uh, sees how players are playing very tight. Obviously, he understands the ICM job, so he's putting so much pressure on them, which I like. That's my gameplay, how I play it on the final table. I, I like his the way he's been playing. Honestly, I, I I'm enjoying this, just watching how he's he's playing. Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen uh, much action with uh, many other players. I mean, um, the guy that just uh, went out. Um, I mean, he didn't. He didn't pick up much hands. You know, it's very important to, like, it's to to get hands on the final table. He didn't have any action. I didn't see any action uh, from him. He he, he played the GTO. When you're sitting such a short stack, you, I mean, uh, I saw in the chat, they said, why is he going all in um, with ace deuce? He has not many big blind. The next hand he's sitting on a big blind and uh, he has an ace in his hand. I think that's the best you can do there. Yeah, I that that's just yeah function of sort of situation. And look at this again, he would be in a flip. Yeah, would be in a flip versus eights, would have got called, but now we'll see Jack who has queens. He's considering all his options. He has got a, yeah, does he want to flat? Does he want to raise? He is going to go ahead and flat. Now eights in the big blind. Very interesting. This is uh, kind of one of those things where he, Jack's kind of welcoming someone to make an aggressive maneuver. Eights, if he were to do so, I mean, Queens, you you want this, but then you're a little worried, right? If, like I said, it would be a disaster. Let's say this guy is, let's say Ignacio is ace king and they were to get it in here. This would not be what Jack wants to do. So let's see if Ignacio does go aggressive, how Jack proceeds. So he does call and uh, no player has an ace in this. No heart, no ace. <laughs> no. Wow. 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 This is uh, quite a flop. Jack not loving this. Can't think he has the best hand most of the time here. No heart. And he also has to be worried about getting bluffed out by Ignacio. This is an interesting uh, spot for him. Betting there without any heart, without an ace. He makes it so small.
Yeah, guys, part of the giveaway today, hit that thumbs up button. That is the like button. We have 1,200 watching at the moment. That keeps rising, but only if you like the stream. You know, maybe it's Malika, myself, GG, the software, the players, anything. If you like the stream, we do invite you to hit that thumbs up. Please let us know where you're watching from in the world. We appreciate that. And, of course, we will give a giveaway today, $50 ticket, GG dollars, no matter what. Have your screen name ready. If you don't have a GG screen name, maybe you have a friend, a family member, someone that you want to uh, share the ticket or give the ticket to. So if you don't have your own screen name or you're not in a jurisdiction that can play, be ready to have a name to put in. We will put the keyword in and we will ask you to do that momentarily. That should be when we get down to three or four handed, I'll, I'll, I'll put, do that. And of course, if you hit the thumbs up button with the keyword, you'll be eligible for that win. So good luck to you guys. And uh, Malika has got no power at the moment, we believe, but she does have internet and she is here with us and we appreciate that. And Look at this, Viva. Is... I mean, he's thinking. What is it? My question is, what is he thinking? Like, he's thinking. I'm drawing dead to an ace. I'm drawing dead to a flush. I'm drawing dead to a set. I'm calling seventy to win about one point two five uh, million. Right? That would be one point two four million. So the price is there, but am I drawing dead? And this is. I, I love the bet by Jack. Right? You would think most some people you wouldn't bet, but you do not want to get bluffed by Ignacio. And you also want to set the the tone there. So that was a very interesting hand. And, and is Viva going to fold Malika? It's just such a horrible position to be with King 10, having one big blind left behind, such a big pot. But you can't call because you have nothing to be like. <laughs> what wow. are you putting your opponent on to be thinking with King 10 for that long with that board? Yeah. It is a good value. If you have a, a 10 of hearts, obviously, yes, put it in and just hope for the best. But uh, the, I mean, the king of hearts, but uh, you can't really be thinking that long with that hand. Yeah. He likes to play these videos, <laughs> these little clips. Yeah, he's using those a lot. He's down to 60K, and, you know, there's a chance people could bust. This is this is interesting here. That, wow, so Rodrigo going to shove. Look at that. Shoves all in, puts it at risk where, when the guy is uh, 30,000 on the line. Strong play with the ace nine off. Going to get a few better hands even to fold how strong that that looks. And, of course, look at this. He gets dealt in the eights versus ace queen, likely – going to be, I guess, ace nine suited is going to want to play too. So he's going to have to fade some diamonds, some clubs, and some nines, some queens, some aces. That's a lot of things. Going to going to be looking for an eight. He does have a diamond and a club in his hand, but I'd say, you know, eights where there is two, going to be at least two opponents. Victor may be thinking about doing more than just, just min raising. He does, however, min raise. And I think Al Joseph 62, based on how they play, is going to be playing. Could he put a little Black pressure? Ball. Could put a little pressure on him too. He could three bet, but I think flatting makes the most sense as we see, right? Because they really... want. Yeah. They would yeah. want to play out. Yeah, so eights actually has the has the best hand still after the flop. He still has the best hand. Wow. Can he really hold it? I think he will hold it. I mean, there's three cards to come, ace, queen, or nine. But hold it? <laughs> I think he knew, he knows. I think he knows he won it. Wow. How does he do it? How can he do it? Ace queen suited, ace nine suited, and there is. I mean, ace... there could be diamond draws, you know, club draws, nothing. Wow, 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 wow! He is gonna just pick it up, and he's through the blind, and he is still in. Nice hand, he says to himself. He is. He has got two and a half blinds through. Actually, he's got three blinds in the small blind right now. Deuce three suited. El Joseph has got an ace king. 
And all players going to be a little bit wary of the short stack, right? This is a spot where Ignacio, you know, can lean. It's thirty thousand dollars, almost twenty eight thousand dollar difference. You know, Ignacio can flat. He can three bet. He can start really putting a few stacks at risk. Although those guys are pretty deep, right? He's not just going to like hunt around for four million and just do whatever. So um, that is uh, that is, that is an uh, interesting time we see right now in this tournament as Viva is going to take his hands. Right, he's got at least three more hands. If he wants to take it to the big blind. Oh, that's my discord or yours. Do you hear that noise, Malik? I don't know if yeah, I think it might be. I, think, I did hear it. Um, trying to check. I, lo I love, um, yeah, I love how nowadays there's so many chats, you know, there's like Slack. Telegram, your gram, my gram, Facebook, Instagram. Like, I, I didn't even know how to get a hold of you. I was like, I messaged you, I think, somewhere. And then, you know, it's, I, I personally, it takes me part of the day to get going. I look at my chats and I have so many different like messengers. It's, they, they, wouldn't it be great to have one that you could just like tie all your, maybe they have something like this where you can like combine any chat and put it in one place because then you wouldn't have to check so many things. I think there's something like that, but I don't think it, it has all the, you can't like put obviously every chat in it but that would be uh that would be good and i've lost my camera you lost your power and i lost my camera yeah i can't see you that's what i was going to say and it's not from my side whatever it was that sound yeah i i, I think we got it we're having technical difficulties today guys hopefully this this works <laughs> and we have an all in king 10 look at that king 10 versus jack he takes all. Love again wow 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 Damn, he's really he's going for it. He is going for the spin. He gets it in King 10 suited, and now he's got a little more chips. What is that? Five and a half blinds, about five and a half. So he's got a shot, not over till it's yeah, over. It's, it always feels so great when you're like sitting short stack and you get it in, especially against like two players, and you hold up with eights and and you win. And then the next hand you like go all in and you double up. It's just the best feeling. Um and sometimes you just double up and double up and you win the tournament. It 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 can it happens fast. It happens fast. Indeed. Yeah, there is a seven deuce off though. That's not the way, that's not the dream big blind hand, but he will not have to put his chips at risk. And L Joseph going for a little extra meat on the bone. Um there is a there is an emoji, but no all in and seven deuce off. So you know, if you get seven deuce and you get aces, that's what I always say in tournaments. I love to get easy decisions. You want to get the big hands and the worst hands, and then you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to think too hard. It's sort of straightforward. It's hard when you get like the sixes, the ace jack offsuit at those final tables and you get put in some tough spots. But right now, where Viva is not going to be all in again, and here is Rodrigo with King 10. Could just shove. I like that. I like that play makes sense and put victor actually with the jack queen suited who would love to call for like one blind with his 10 blinds in a spot where he can't really call yeah i don't think he could make that call then queen high blinds are going up so fast and players are just getting shorter and it's just I think it's got, it's not going to take that long. Sometimes you sit on a final table and it goes for, you know, what what was the longest uh, final table you've streamed? Did, did I like that I was streaming on Twitch? How long did I stream, or the actual final table? The final table. Um. Well. I mean, that's a good question. I don't know the exact time. I know in here there's been some, there have been a few long ones. I'd say generally these last about uh, two hours, two and a half. But I mean, look, this is, we're still six handed. This is, all right, we lost the camera again, right? This is, technology is hard, Malika. I'm telling you, I've been doing this stuff a long time. It's really, it's not okay. Easy. I feel you. I feel you. I'm in the same situation. Uh, I'll um, tell you, I'll tell you, the chat's not, Matt. If I, if I go off camera, it's okay, Malika. If you go off camera, they're going to be a little less, a little less understanding. I think I may have to restart this guys let me see here i don't know what this has happened to me before but let me uh here i'm gonna pop off like you're carrying the action be ready for some all-ins and knockouts i'm gonna hop off and then hop back on all right so we got so far i have no camera 
Malika's in the dark, but we got, we got some big poker here for you guys today. So Malika's going to call the action. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Perfect. Technology these days. He's all in. And he called. Wow. And Ace is going to, and he's going to, he has a 10 parter, but he's going to double up here. Oh, no. Can you believe that? that that's the beauty of poker. Wow. That is insane. That is insane. That happened to me quite often. <laughs> wow. So we just lost another player down to five players. It's getting more exciting. Victor, which is my bet, he's the short stack right now. Jeff going to come back very soon. <laughs> I like these comments. I'm trying to uh, read the comments and watch the hand at the same time. Wow, well, I can't believe he just went out with 10. Oh, man. Did we lose our friend, the Raven? We lost? Yes. It actually was a crazy hand. Um, uh, Ignoxia, Moron, he had. <laughs> it's easier to say his surname than his first name. Um, he had an outer just with a 10, and he found a 10 on a river. Wow. 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 There, there it is. That is, um, that is, that is legitimately a long run for a short stack, but we are down now to five as we see Ignacio get in a very comfortable first place. There's Victor who is on the short stack, both players with a suited ace three, but the spades going to like that flop a lot more as Jack Salter chips up 3.4 million, finds himself in third place couple of ladies given to the Brazilian, Rodrigo. And Ignacio is going to be opening very wide, but not the 10-2 off suit as Rodrigo will open and not going to get any customers there. <laughs> no, there's not going to be much action in this hand either. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is this is again we get to see it. So you know one of the things I love most about doing these these tables, the final tables and watching whole cards up is you get a good understanding of distribution of cards, how hard it is to really make a pair. Um and it is um you know it it's it's an interesting it's interesting because it's so hard. I think hold them like I love PLO in these type of games, but I think it's um it's it's just tricky when you have you, you kind of realize like how much creativity is in hold'em right there's a lot more room for bluffing and and storytelling and and you can really it's so hard to actually make a real hand uh that's um yeah yeah it's uh and it's, i find it's, 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 uh, super amazing actually where you can watch the uh cards and see how they play it's a free lesson for the viewers that they're watching basically how you know they understand how these players are playing yeah it's it's crazy it, it is fun I, and that's another thing there's highlights from these there's also you can go back and watch obviously the old old streams you can go and check out the footage from these and of course that's uh the final table's great to watch it's also nice to get whole cards up for some other tournaments where you get to see different stages of the, of the tournament, but the who doesn't like a final table final table has got big money, big decisions, big pressure, big bluffs, and, and the big calls that get made. This is definitely, definitely the elite doing it. And we are seeing El Joseph, my pick for who I said, I like how he's playing. Look at this, putting a lot of pressure on here with the queen four off. And you know what? Double gutted though for six, seven is Jack is thinking about his options. Does he want to raise? Does he want to call the board is paired? There's two flush draws. If he hits a four and eight, doesn't even know if he's good. Let's see what he comes up with here. Does go with the fold. Oh, 
I don't think that's a bad ball because he doesn't want to hit the age of the club or, you know, um, you don't want to see the club. So he's rather bothered to get rather than making himself into trouble, giving your opponent a flush and then you make it straight, then what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I got a question in the chat. What's up, Ann Kit? Good to see you. In terms of stop streaming, so yeah, I do this weekly show for Twitch. I also have a podcast, um, which I uh, focused on. And then in terms of streaming, I am in a jurisdiction where I can't play. GG, I did sign with GG this earlier in the year. And this is my main commitment is the Super Millions, also working on some short content projects. But to answer your question, streaming on Twitch, that's not something I'll do regularly. But when there is a World Series or some big series, that is something that I do, like I was telling Malika, which I think would be great if she has, you know, it's nice to have it set up if you go, right? If you want to be able to do it and I'm ready. So like, I'm not completely done streaming. I'm just not going to be streaming daily. I have a three and a half year old son now. And I, as I mentioned, the podcast and this weekly show, uh, as well as some other commitments where that's not my main thing, but I love streaming and I, I love playing poker. So yeah, I will still do some of that. But in the meantime, not not daily doing that. But thank you for asking. Good to see you. And um, we see Ignacio, the rich, getting in better situations. He's on the river, effectively the nuts, right? There's no flush, no straight possible. He has a trip jacks, 740K in the middle. Thinking about a value bet goes for the 1.5 pot bet. And he is on an absolute tear, Malika. Who's stopping this man today? He has got $7 million. I'm that $347,000 payout. Victor getting short, your hero. Our, a lot of people's favorite player is now the short stack and he's got internet issues too malik it's wow. worldwide it's worldwide <laughs> it's, it's everywhere we're having problems um yeah yeah this is uh this is, it's not easy i'm telling you I, I think like 2025 that's like when the matrix will happen the jets and stuff like you know we'll be we'll be having internet 5.0 from everywhere no problems no issues hopefully it's it's not far I, i'm wondering on airplanes too the service has gotten better but that'll be nice too at some point you'll be flying and like You'll have like streaming quality internet everywhere and, and whatnot, but that's still not quite uh, quite there either. So we're we're a little bit a little bit far behind. I mean, look at South Africa; we don't even have electricity. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this getting is... better. At least we have internet right now, where I can you know keep going. Otherwise, if it was this was like six months ago. I wouldn't have internet because the whole signal would go completely off, even on your phone, when the power would go off. Yeah, it's uh, it's wild. All right, well, there it is. Look at this, sevens, and this is GG's oh, by nines. Victor oh. is all in. Blink, and you can get sync. It is there, and it is a it is a GG. My man is number four all time in the super millions, 11 million in GG, 4 million in super millions. And guess what that means, Malika? You know what that means when he gets knocked out today, right? There's four remaining. Do you, you know what's going to happen? I lost. Well, I don't think you've lost yet, but there will be a new Super Millions champion because he was the only winner, three titles in the Super Millions. So now we are playing for a new champion of the GG Super Millions officially as we see Ignacio in the lead. Uh, I don't, I'm trying to think who you had. It's been a while. I believe you, you have Jack Salter. I took the Brazilian, right? And, and I had the moron. I remember I had the moron because I couldn't, I didn't want to say the, was yes. it, did I choose him? I yes, did, you did. You did. And I, yes. And I have Al Joseph. So you have 10 million chips and I have like 6.5. So you got the advantage right now for a dinner. I know, I know you have good taste, Malika. So this could be an expensive dinner. Um, actually, we didn't clear, <laughs> we didn't clarify where the dinner is. We could do a fly in dinner. I might, you and your significant other might have to fly to Miami. I'll fly to South Africa for dinner. It's a, that's a real ticket item. You know, this isn't just like a, $500 dinner. We're talking, we're talking a serious dinner here. So I didn't, I didn't clarify. So that's, that's up to you, but um, we, we will, we are playing for something here and currently you have the best of it with the chips. So good luck. And at home, who do they have? They have Jack Salter and Rodrigo for the bonus $100 ticket. But yeah, guys hit those thumbs up. Let us know where we're watching from and get ready. Once we get down to three handed, I will put the keyword in the chat. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's going over the top, going all the way to Wow, Ace King L wow. Joseph 62 is in a very nice position to the to the river. Oh, 
Possible chop out 6.4 in the middle. This is a big moment for everybody in the tournament. Eight, no nine, queen, no nine, nine no three. jack. Is it an ace? It is an ace, and that is not going to be good enough for the ace jack to chop as ace king will play with the aces and sixes king kicker. Good game. Clap, golfer claps from Elky all around. And all right, now, now we are seeing a potential problem, Malika, because we are talking about two versus one, and the chips are very close, I believe. What do you got? You have the chip leader, and look at Jack Salter there, 3.9 and GG. I, don't, I can't believe how he just chopped all in with Ace Jack there. I'm still quite shocked. I mean, it's four, it's four handed and I didn't see the exact action or how many blinds it was exactly, but, um, it is, you know, yeah, it might've been a little bit much. He opened Joseph three bit and he four, and four bit jammed. I think that's what happened if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But it's personally, I don't even call it three bit with Ace Jack there. Yeah. Um, but we could say like Joseph has been playing very uh, loose and, um, you know, his range has been like so, so wide, his three bed range, pre-flop range, like open range is like being so wide. So probably he took that and he just thought it's, it's good for him to four bit jam ace jack. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, that's a, uh, it's a powerful hand forehanded. Obviously, you know, he's going to just get, of course, he's, he's got the best hand, but when you don't have the best hand, it's very costly. Now, Rodrigo, who was chip leader at the start, down to three, 213K locked up. So he's done a good job after kind of falling out of the chip lead to find himself to the final three. And uh, it is a very tight race between the chip leaders, Ignacio and Joseph, 62. So we are up to uh, three-handed. As Let's do the key word. It's time for the giveaway, guys. We're going gonna to let you know what that is. So put your screen name, and we'll say GG Malika uh and your then your username that's what it's going to be so gg malika um type gg malika then your oh they're telling me to not spam in the box that's fine so basically type the word gg space malika and then your gg username we'll pick a winner and it's going to be a 50 or 100 dollar ticket at least a 50 dollar ticket we appreciate all you hit the thumbs up type the keyword good luck gg malika then add your screen name you got to add put your gg username afterward and we will pick a winner here let's see guys remember to put your uh, gg username after because i see a lot of gg malika but no username just remember to add your username after yes malika. yeah if you don't have a username you're just uh I don't know. There's just, you're going to, you're going to win, but we'll have no way to send you. So that's what it's going to be. That's how we're doing it. Good luck. We'll let that run for a few moments and then we'll tie it up. Don't hit, forget to hit that thumbs up button, the like button. That will be how you get entered the like button. Plus type that keyword GG Malika. And then your username will be what comes in after a lot of people watching it. We got 1200 watching right now. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate it. We are three handed guaranteed 213,347 up top. We will play to a winner today. We are about two hours into the show. So we're getting to it, Malika. Who do you who do you like? Now I can ask you, who do you like to win right now? Who do you think gets it done? Um, to be honest, obviously it's between the top two that's right in front of us. Uh, who I think is playing better. Um, I haven't seen Moron do a lot of like, you know, any, I think he's playing good. Joseph has been playing really good and he's, uh, putting pressure on players. I just want to see how he would play um, heads up. Is he gonna play like you know? I want. I want. I really want to see how he would play heads up with him. But obviously, I'm gonna go with Moron because that's my bet on him. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't go with Joseph right now. Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, Joseph. Joseph needs a little work to do if he's gonna get. Back in the conversation, the, the talented Brazilian. Let's see how he can, if he gets back in. He's got the king here. You know, it's 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 like, it's tough. You like want to make a call. It's 12 blinds effective. The king deuce off. It's really close. At the same time, you got to give your chance to get back in. But it's also about $60,000 that you are just going to, if you call and you're out, it happens in a second. So maybe you can find a little better spot. And look at that. Nicely done by Ignacio. Forces a slightly better hand to fold. 
and can't blame them for folding. But at the same time, when you're so out chipped and you're already locked up, I think folding king high there might be a little bit of a exploit. But um, you know, again, not a can't fault them for folding. And here are two real hands: ace king suited, queen ten suited, backdoor diamonds for El Joseph. But ace king suited on this flop. Still got a feel he's gonna have the best hand a lot. Checks back still for has some showdown. I like that. All right, we are we are gonna we're gonna add heads up. We'll stop the giveaway, and we are currently um, we are currently with uh, two hundred thumbs up, guys. If we get the we get a roll in here, I might even give the bonus. I might I might throw up an extra the extra. But as of right now, the problem is Malika. They get fifty if Ignacio or Joseph win, and they get a hundred if Rodrigo. So the chat's kind of looking like a fifty dollar giveaway. But I'm got feeling generous today. I don't know. Should we give them? How about I'll let you choose? You choose one of the one of the big stacks to make it a hundred dollar giveaway instead of fifty. I'll, I'll give them one more shot. We've thrown them an extra. We're gonna throw them one more. You choose Joseph or Ignacio for the extra fifty bonus. Who do they get? Um, whoever wins. Yeah. So like, there. If let's say you choose Ignacio and Joseph wins, that would be a um. $50. But if you pick it right, the winner who wins, they will get a hundred instead of 50. So they're going to get something no matter what, but you get to choose. They have Rodrigo is the guy they Moron, have. Moron will win. So man, my camera is Go not... with the winner. What happened to your... We're having um... real problems. I'm clicking off again. Malik, you did such a good job. Last time I left, someone busted. Give me a minute. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> Let's <All right>. see. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to see. I um, I thought what's happening to my camera now? It's going off and on. Okay, um, guys, we have a beta moron, so let's hope that he's going to win because you have another fifty dollars on the line. I think that um, I think he's gonna give up now. If if um, Joseph try, if he's going to bet again here, yeah, probably he's going to give up. He didn't make it back to flush, so it's a chop pot. Good river for Rodrigo. I think it's going to be a check check. Yeah. Would he turn his hand into a bluff? Do you guys think he would turn his hand into a bluff right now and go all in? Since he checked, Joseph checked on the turn. So do you think he could be creative enough to go all in? No, he didn't. Gonna be a check check, yes. Welcome back. All right, no blue light. Let's see. I, I think I got I got wire issues, but we're gonna we're gonna mess with it later. And I am gonna pick the winner here in a second. And who did I'm sorry, who did you choose? Which player did you choose for the audience? Moron. Oh, you stuck with I like that. That's your guy, right? That was your pick. And now he's got nine million. He's he's in the uh the, the chip lead. So you guys got a chance. And you know what? And I also I'm gonna throw it out there. If it gets to 400 thumbs up, I'm just gonna automatically make it 100 anyway. So I'll give you guys that as well if you want to get active. There's 1,300 people watching. We can get 400 thumbs up. If you're enjoying the show, please hit that thumbs up. And if you are enjoying Malika, she took the time today in South Africa. She's got no power. She literally has internet but no power. She's on a generator with no lights. I've had camera issues. You guys are sticking with us. We appreciate that. Let's get those I thumbs up. These. Yes. I have these. I have like few of these right now pointing to my face. <laughs> Very, I like it. I love I love the dedication. Like, I'm gonna right? make this work today. <laughs> we, we are we are I thought we were gonna lose you completely on the stream. So the fact <laughs> that you didn't even cut, I've actually cut twice, not you. So let's uh yeah, let's let's see if we can finish strong here from both of us. And Ignacio gonna get a little richer. He has now got 9.3 to 6.4, and an ace is gonna be good enough for 1.1 million, although not gonna have a customer, it looks like. I don't think there will be a caller so he does just take that down let's just do that if you're okay with it i'll give a 50 dollar to one more audience that are hashtag like putting my name down and if you if you are okay with that what say it again to put the hashtag and then the the name i mean not the hashtag i just want to give uh give away a 50 dollars to one of because i see a lot of people are here so 
um, I'll give a fifty dollar giveaway for you know to someone oh. that's here. Okay. Just wow. All right. Well, we're... just be making it more fun for them. I love it. Um, all right, let's do that. So we'll do another name. Two names going to win, guys. Again, it's going to be 50 at least, plus another 50, possibly 150. You are sweating Ignacio and Rodrigo versus El Joseph 62. And Malika decided she's coming out of coming out of pocket. That's super generous of her. If we get to 400, it's going to be 100 for sure. If it's not, then you guys are sweating Ignacio. But we do appreciate you engaging, having fun, letting us know where you're watching from. And we are going to keep it keep it rolling here. I've got uh, I've got I've got a got a Brazilian still in the mix and dinner. We're sweating. I'm actually I'm a I'm a dog for dinner all of a sudden with Ignacio with the chip lead and um yeah. I mean I actually I've been to South Africa. I've never been to Cape Town. I would love to go to Cape Town. I, I was actually gonna say it would be great if obviously if you guys come to South Africa and uh, if it vice versa we come to um, America. Yes. Well, Miami Miami is uh, it's a cool place. I know I know Cape Miami. Town is is unbelievable. I've heard such amazing things. Really look forward to someday getting there and hopefully you'll be there and can check it out, show us what to do. Have you, I think I asked this, you've done the diving with the great whites or no? No, I haven't. I'm not a very big, um, you know, shark fan. Yeah. Yeah. Me neither. I don't think I would do that. I was just curious. That sounds like a crazy, crazy deal. I'm sure it's fun, but I, I don't know. That's uh it's a bit, it's a bit intense. It's not my, it's not my normal, normal thing. What would you rather do? Swim with the great whites or skydive? Like if you had to choose one of those two. Skydive. You know, I'm terrified of heights. I, I'm terrified of heights, but I've done the, you know, the highest bungee jumpings in the world. I've done bungee jumping here in South Africa, you know, and skydiving. And I like to face my fears. But the, the, I'd be in choosing between the two is skydiving. Definitely it would be the one I'll, I would choose. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh... but definitely if you guys come to South Africa, I would take you guys for the uh, the bridge jump, which is in Naisna. It's one of the, it's the highest bridge in the world. And uh, if you lose um, a bet, you're going to have to come to South Africa one day and, and do the jump. <laughs> Wow, are we? We're up in the stakes. I'm not a. I'm not a, a a hype person. I did once jump off the stratosphere in Vegas. That was actually for a bet, and it was terrifying. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I would. I'm not. I think I did my jumping for for a while, but um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, we could talk about it. We could do another bet sometime. But this, I'm not putting that on the line for this right now. I love. I love the chat. I love the stream, but. I'm not putting that on the line. I have to think about that before I, I made that bet. And our friend Rodrigo's not giving up right here. I mean, he is he is still in. He's got a heart. He has the heart. He has the nine. gut shot. Yeah, he's got some stuff going on here. Let's see what he happens. He actually has the nine for the straight, too. Yes, although Queen Jack does have top pair in the same gut shot. So nine will give him a straight. Yeah, this is. Uh, not fun when you don't make your hand. He does miss. He's got a million. SPR about one. Could he just go over the top? Do you think he would go in here? Wow. He's going to bet it. And um, interesting. Interesting. This is a spot where Joseph, like, this is not so trivial of a call. You lose to flushes. It's 118 on a flop of flush. So let's just take that out now. You lose to a nine. Lose to a better jack. But do you think your opponent's betting even a jack and you have a jack so mm -hmm. like this is uh this is very curious he could could definitely throw this away i think he could find the fold here because um he has everything in his range he could have the hearts he could have a straight and the, that reverse completes a straight also uh he's having a queen queen nine six nine suited of hearts nine queen of hearts he could have so there's a lot of hands and i i mean he didn't go all in so it makes it more like he wants to call yeah it's um it makes it more scary for him like he he wants to call so he, he's i like that bit very nice very nicely done very nice. all right we're at, we're at 281 once the giveaway gets heads up once it gets the heads up, I will close it. And we are going to 
we are literally we are fighting here as Rodrigo gets a little bit of a, a sign of life here with 1.8 million back in it and he is going to limp in and now joseph with the jack deuce off gonna go ahead and kick it up the giveaway still going here we'll let it run Ten six suited is in the flop. And that's and he's is... gonna call here. He has a backdoor flush, but oh wow, he called. Wow, that is that is ambitious. Turn to three, checks as well. Might have some 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 uh some ill will, some intentions if it gets checked on the turn. There are some floats like this that you know your opponent can go ahead and decide. If you flat with ten six suited and you don't make your make runner runner you have to have some plans or else it's not such a a great play to just call yeah. if you're making your hand so look at this he does go for it. this is this is high level very high level yeah i like i like the way he's playing even though he's like super short i like the way he's playing no he called with the 10 six for the back door flush back door straight you know and he won the hand I like it. He's building his stack up again. Very nice. 2.5 million still in the mix. Ace nine suited Ignacio chip lead. Going to be a lot of limp, obviously. Blind on blind pots does 3x, 6, 7 off. Just fold. L. Joseph still sitting with 6 million. Plenty of chips. And I am going to announce the winner here very shortly. And Malika, you are giving a bonus, uh, bonus 50 as well. So we're going to have a 50 and 50 or a 150. Appreciate everyone taking part in that. And we will. Go ahead and wow, look at this cooler. I mean, this is a way to get back in the game. Wow, oh, look at wow. this. Wow, wow, wow. Rodrigo could take a bite out of chip leader stack. Basically, one of the best situations. I think aces versus a6 off is like the best situation, but this is in the 93, 94% uh range. Even has one of the suits blocked. Just okay. Oh. Not like this, <laughs> wow. man. Come on. Wow. 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 This wow. is cruel. This is so cruel. Ooh, cruel and unusual and this is uh this is actually Imagine insane. An ace on the turn right now just it's hard it's hard it's, so it's, sick. it's a close but a king and this oh. is you know rodrigo is in a absolute world of hurt right now queen ace queen okay. on the queen queen seven is just thinking about vegas and the mirage feeling good and this is now rodrigo who had a crushing position, is no longer in good shape, has one out, one to come, and does go ahead and he's setting up for that pot size river bet more than, I mean, this is, there's almost, there's just like no path out. I don't think he's going to shove, but he, he he can call here. I mean, that can save him. That yeah, card can save him. Possible, but I mean, if you play aces blind on blind, Versus the chip leader three-handed, it's really hard to ask for a fold, although this board is much more wet than he would like, more dynamic, and I am uh, likely we're just going to see the shove here, and I, I don't think there's much to talk about, although you're right. I mean, this is a lot of stuff that beat he you He can here. get away. He can fold here. I mean, he can fold. There's he, he three-bit pre-flop. He can have king-queen. He's blocking uh, ace-queen. He is blocking the ace-queen. He has two aces in his hand. The he could be calling with king queen pre flop, jacks pre flop. I mean, three betting tens, jacks. Wow, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna get away. Yeah, I mean, he loses to any queen, queen 10, like queen nine suited. He raised pre, you're right, though. He blocks ace queen because he did raise pre flop. He flatted. I mean, I don't know, like you lose to flushes, he doesn't have no hearts in his hand, not not ace of hearts. Very difficult. Wow. I, I'll probably fold here. Wow, this is this is uh well, he ultimately makes the call. And uh we are gonna be heads up. And I mean look, you can't fault him. 
He set a trap and ultimately closed his eyes. Could have found a possible way to get away. But listen, great game for Rodrigo, third place. And look at this. We got a heads up for a dinner. Look at my player. Look at my player. <laughs> He's crushing. Absolutely He's crushing. crushing right now. And, and a nice Let's go. <laughs> this is just getting fun. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, a nice score from Rodrigo. 700,000 in, in Super Millions, earning 63 rank overall and 4.7 on G um on GG. Oh, so wow. this look is at this. Uh, yeah, we see some some spice going. Ignacio gonna get the ace nine to fold. Wow. Uh -oh. Um yeah, that is uh that's some 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 poker here. Let's see. We're gonna see. Uh we all will I will announce the winner here shortly. Let's get to that 300 thumbs up. Malika's got the 50 bonus, and we are gonna go ahead and announce the the winner of the the ticket here. And it's either gonna be a 50 or a hundred dollars if it depends on the finish from Ignacio and El Joseph. So let's see what happens here. Wow, we we got a lot to play for. We got dinner and the chat's playing for 50 extra as well. And we got a we got a giveaway still to do and we are heads up. And this has been two hour, 15 minutes so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the final table coverage. We will play to a winner and we will see a huge jump between first and second as 272,000 is locked up. That can often be the first prize in these. And we are seeing a 347 first prize. So 28, what's that? So 50, $75,000 heads up match coming. Pretty sick. This is crazy. Pretty big, pretty big. I mean, look at him. He's like three betting there with six eggs. What was it? Six, five, six off or what? Six. Yeah, I think he had, yeah, he got ace nine off the fold with the five six. So Joseph's got some moves and 10 four. I mean, he's got gonna go for value. A nice fold. I mean, the clubs come home, doesn't have the strongest hand, but he definitely has a bluff catching hand there. So nice decision. That's what impresses me the most. These guys that play at the highest level and that just constantly make in tough decisions, hero calls, hero folds, or make big folds and plays. We see him get it right so often. We saw Victor that one today, right? He folded the top pair, which he would have been, you know, it could have been a lot different. He makes that call, but you know, ultimately we see people, the, the best players make, make big calls and big folds constantly. So let's, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. These final two Ignacio does let's have you again for a second. He just went and came back. My camera's not helping us today. I'm just, you know, listen, you've had, you had issues. I had issues where even I was trying to make you feel bad. It's like that Billy Madison movie. You remember where he goes to the bathroom, the kid he's on himself. And then the, he goes, like, I'm trying to, you know, trying to, you had an issue, I had an issue, and we even had Victor. Victor had an issue today, too, with his internet, so it's, uh, you know, we're having we're having a couple technical difficulties. We do see our friend here make a straight. King nine going to bet on a four-liner. It's not going to work. Not going to work. King four definitely has a, what a hand here. He's got the second nuts, four, six only, and it beats him. Surely going to raise. Just depends how much, and those are chips. Ignacio is not going to get back. Let's see, one million. Kick he up. cannot call it here. Yeah, not going to be calling. I doubt it. I mean, he does does call. Does call, Malika. We are going to see. It's getting even now. Very even match. So what's that? 6.5, 8. Point. I mean, they're literally... They're literally tied. You can't get a better sweat. We each have a player Let's left. Let's make some like a bad fold against him and make that is some like calls, bad calls against him. So <laughs> that helps the situation for Joseph. <laughs> He's doing good. Yes, very, very good. It is. And we are now all we of are a sudden... even almost. They have yeah. almost even chip. Yeah, it's, it's very close. Actually, Joseph takes the lead, and we will play again to a winner today in 75000 up for grabs between the two players and you Both at home are sweating. Okay. And he has right. a backdoor push. Yeah, King-7 suited. Pretty nice start. This gets a little bit a little bit more dicey to Jack-8. Does pick up a gut shot. Does want to keep betting. Has a pair and a gut shot. Maybe does he gets called on the flop, though. Think about what he wants to do here. He goes big. Wow. Is he wow. targeting? Targeting a king. I mean, what this hit? This is an interesting, interesting bet. Oh wow! I thought he's gonna fall again. He's putting pressure. He's putting pressure on the players. He's been playing so amazing, like the whole game. Like the way he puts pressure on players is. 
but moron doesn't you know he he's he he hasn't realized that the joseph is putting a lot of pressure on him he's finding a lot of fault heads up i wouldn't i don't think i would be able to fault the king there which i mean it's hard to call because he went just over the pot size bed Yeah, this is this is now a. I mean, they literally have the exact same stack yes. right now. Three deuce off, five nine. Both players are playing some poker, going post flop, queen queen king. No player with the pair. Of course, this favors. This is why having the lead and heads up and and taking control is so important. You get to bet. So hard to make a pair. Uh, some some absolute crushers. And look, we are gonna. I'm gonna announce the winner here for the giveaway. I'm gonna start with, let's do Malika's first. I'll leave the winner till the end because it's gonna be a 50 or 100. You guys are sweating. Again, Ignacio, if he wins, you get an extra 50. But for the winner for Malika's $50 is gonna be Kenny Z, screen name Whippy, at Kenny, um, $50. This one's from Malika. So there it is, Kenny Z. His name is Whippy. Kenny Z. That is one. And big thanks to Malika, that was nice. Very generous you to do that. So congrats to the winner there. And then we still have the, the main ticket giveaway to do today. And it's too close to call, Malika. I can't pick right now. I mean, I guess yeah, I'll, I'll do a stay with my stay with my original pick. You're staying with the original pick. But these guys are playing well. And it's so intense. Heads ups, you know, like the trophy, right? Tell me a little about your heads up for a bracelet on GG, World Series of Poker. Well, give me, how, how did your heads up go? Were you short stacked? It Were you chip leader? It was an emotional uh, roller coaster. I was the chip lead uh, most way. And when we got heads up, I got into some spots where I lost the chef lead and I was sitting short and I was just telling myself, you know, like you, my pulse was going crazy. You know, you're playing for a WSOP bracelet and it was just like it, the emotions running through you. You must make the right decisions. You must not tell. You must just keep it cool. And um I I went, I went down. Uh, I was very short. Um we started heads up. I was I was a big stack, and then I went short, and I got the I got it back. And the last time I had king four, I never forget it. I had king four, and he just stone cold bluff three way, and I had a full house king four on a flop, and I made a full house on the turn, and I just checked culture, and he jammed on me um, with a bluff. It basically bluffed me, and it was the most amazing feeling. I was like, as I said, I was like running around the house with the laptop in my hand. That's awesome. We <laughs> were um, thinking about it. It was just so great. It was, it was amazing. That's that's cool. No, and that, that's the thing, right? Like how many times in these spots where you play for so much money or so much prestige, there's so much variance, right? To 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 come out on top, it's just so so powerful. Like you just don't know. I actually I have a second in a World Series, um, and I don't have a first. And it's like you get there and. It can be a one hand or, a, or an all in or a coin flip or something. And it's uh, it's like going to the Super Bowl, right? You just, you don't know. You don't get to go there. It's so many times. You only get so many opportunities to get that 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 actual win. And um, very cool that, that you were able to get that. And it's cool that you can do it online now as well for GG and WSOP, obviously pairing for that opportunity. So so that is fun. Well, Joseph has got his work cut out for him. He is now out flopped and out chipped. And Ignacio has played a really strong final table today. Finds himself right at 10 million chips and certainly not going to fold here with the 7-8. He's got the pair of eights. And Joseph, who took a shot on the flop, maybe checks back here. 873. We have seen Joseph take some pretty strong lines. And he will check back. Jack on the river changes nothing. Ignacio is now with, you know, he's got uh he's got 873s. Every pot's important. You can see those shot clocks. Wow, you know what we're gonna see here, Malika. Look at that, 21 seconds for Al Joseph, 62. We could easily, easily see him run out of time, and that would mean you get five seconds per... per he called it ace high. Called it ace high, and, and Ignacio is going to pick up an important pot, separate himself a little more, 10.6 to 6.3. And those 17 seconds, we may see the shot clock run out. We've only seen this, I believe, once on the show before, maybe one other time, and... Uh, we might see that again. It's very difficult to play with no, really no time to think. I mean, he's going to call here with a heart in his hand. Yes, the five of hearts. You just don't want to see another heart. <laughs> 
Yeah, a little backup though has the pair, right? Has the mid pair and now also has a little bit of backup. So this is kind of an interesting spot. Certainly don't think can fold, at least on the turn and the river, not what he wanted to see. He doesn't know it. You know, that's like, that's hard when you're playing a hand, you don't know what you want. He's like, I have a pair, maybe I need the flush or maybe I don't. And as it plays, the 10 of hearts comes in and let's see if he's going to go search some value. Only the queen or king beat him. I think he will go for some value. I think so too. Having a 10, um, you know, in his hand, the only card can, oh, you check. It's king or a queen. So I think I would bet here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a curious one. I think that is it's unlikely to get raised, and you probably just have the best hand. But as as it plays, still an important pot, eleven point five. It's got about two to one, a little more than two to one lead right now. So in a good spot, and we are at three hundred and four likes today. Thank you guys so much. It's a fifty or hundred dollar ticket. If it gets to four hundred, I'll make it a hundred automatically. But we are, you guys are still in good position. Your two to one lead to get that extra. You need 50. more on to win, guys, for the price. And it's so uh, insane, actually, like how fast the chips are like flying because, like, just two minutes ago they were even, and now uh, Moran takes the lead again. It's uh, interesting that he decides to raise. Yep, this is a ace five, king five. Both players with the gut shot. Now the ace pairs. We had the best hand. Now really feels good about it. And Ignacio, does he want to rep this card? Does he want to put pressure on with this card with the gut shot? Also does have some of the better better hands. And he is going to go ahead and bluff right into top pair. This, however, obviously we know won't work. Just a matter of what Joseph wants to do. Does he want to just close his eyes and call, which makes a lot of sense. He does that. The jack changes nothing on the river, the jack of hearts. And now Ignacio... Does he want to put the pressure on here, go for the jugular or check back? Uh, this will be curious to see. He's got 9 million, 5 million in the pot. He has king high. Probably think he doesn't have the best hand. I would like to see, I think generally th speaking, this would make sense to really put the pressure on. Let's see if he does follow through. I mean, he's blocking the 5-7. He has ace-5. He's blocking this trade. So he, he um, it's a very good check from Ron. I'm glad he didn't the pressure and go all in on him yeah i don't i mean it, we it wouldn't have worked and guess what we're back to where we started two and a half hours in the stream we are heads up with about a chip lead shared almost ship ship lead share and there's no there is no give a uh, deal available here this is not an option there's seventy five thousand they're playing for super millions format no deals straight up play to a winner gg will be moving this to the live streets as well and adding some other cool stuff for super million so it just keeps track of your record how you perform in this tournament specifically as you see we talk about earnings on gg super millions we talk about wins and we keep track of stats and that's something that they'll do live as well have a live gg super millions format that you can play partake in and compete so pretty cool this is uh this is very very interesting to see how players play and how they do uh, over the course of time we've seen season two episode 63 and look at the ace three taking I, a page I, i'm and... just looking oh wow, wow he can turn his hand into a block right now because he would uh re-raise with the flush draw there yeah there should, the... Alt? i mean the top pair it's asking a lot it's up top pair he i mean he re-raised he has to make a, another big bet here to represent the flush. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, is he going to go for it here? This is a big pot. He called. That was a snap goal, almost. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ace it's three. A massive pot. What's he gonna do? Does he go for the jugular? Does he go? He oh. doesn't do it. Ace three. Jack nine. Oh. The chat, the I chat think wanted if he that. Would go all in. If he would find in himself to go all in, he would fold the jack. I you're right. I think in that particular spot, I think he 
I think he might have. Um, I think he might have done it. I think he might have. I think he might have given it up there. But now it is the man. Look who I picked. at this right now. It's just changed in a matter of seconds. The chip lead is the chip lead is Joseph right now. So we are sweating, guys. We need to get this. We need the <laughs> moron to. Get his A game on now. Wow, you got the chat's in jeopardy for 50. You're in jeopardy for a big dinner right now. This is El Joseph in commanding lead. He's got 12 million to 5 million. The tables have turned. Um, I, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely not over though. As we know, plenty of chips, plenty of play, and we've seen a good battle today. So this is not over yet. Let's see what happens here as Ignacio has played a great game and trying to hold on to take it down. Although he is in a bit of, dire straits what time is it in south africa you're about five, you said five hours ahead uh, no, yeah well it's um of east coast past 11 six hours ahead okay come on moron you can do it <laughs> i think all the guys that they want to win the prize they're also rooting for moron right now And I want to win my bet. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 this is this is enough you know, variance. Um, it's uh, it's not over though. Listen, I'm I'm I I've my record is pretty good in these. It's fun when it's a sweat. It's not fun when it's like three left and there's no one left. So this is actually one of the better sweats. They were tied to the chip. Heads up. So whatever happens, we did a good job picking. It's been fair. It's been fun. The audience is sweating this fifty dollar difference between 50 and 100 and i will have selected a winner here guys We've got a couple more minutes to hit the thumbs up button and put in your gg username keyword gg space malika m-e-l-i-k-a space put your gg username and we will have a winner tonight and it could be over very soon right this is playing fast the guys are making some bluffs and this doesn't take long heads up to someone to make a pair someone have a draw and it can go very very fast so 10-5 suited is just gonna be oh, cool. yeah. A straight draw versus the six. Second pair. Yeah, Ignacio likes to bet, that's for sure. And Joseph likes to call. I mean, this he doesn't, he, I mean, the flush gets there, straight gets there, Jack is the now is the king is there. Is he going to go for another bluff or is he just going to check it? I think he's going to give up. We, we've seen him give up so many times. So. This guy, Al Joseph, has no time bank. They another player is thirty-seven seconds. Ignacio, he does give up, and a six going to hold on. Would have been a very difficult call if there was pressure on the river. But as it plays out, Al Joseph's going to take it down. He has no time, Malika. He is going to be playing literally the rest of the time with no time bank. One second left on the clock. So let's see if that comes into play. Although he does have a three-to-one chip lead at the moment. I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful he's not done until he's done. <laughs> you should just also remember, like, when you're in this stage of the game, you are tired, you are exhausted, and uh, you see some hands, like, your play and other opponents putting a lot of pressure on you. Um, you know, you, you know, sometimes you get tilted. And you want to play more hands and you want to put pressure on the player that is winning and it works against you. Like he's trying, he's betting and betting and he's giving up. It's costing him a lot of big blinds. Uh, obviously giving up on the river, also knowing his opponent is going to call him with. If I'm right now, if I'm more on thinking uh, my opponent is calling a station, he's calling me with bottom pair, he's calling me with the ace high, I will not bluff him as much yeah so here jack five does go ahead and make the straight nine ten off on the river 595 in the middle you can just tell ignacio is ready to oh, make some plays and, what is he doing yeah he just gets snap called there it's not going to work i'm going to announce the winner here we're getting close this could be over at any any moment the winner of the giveaway is 
uh, let's see, this man's name is GGG Gaming. GGG Space Gaming, congrats, you have won 50 or 100, although it is looking like 50. And actually though, it's not over yet, because threes to, to queens, threes to queens, he could double up and make Come this on, a whole new, oh wow. Well I want to <laughs> It'd be a chop, 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 chop. No, man, Yes, right. yes, right. we are still in, guys, we are still in. <laughs> still going. It is uh, It is still going. It's not over until it's over. Come on, guys. We are hopeful. We can do it. Come on, Morani. We can do it. <laughs> um, oh, look uh, at this. Ooh. Flash draw versus the tape. This is got, this is going to be spicy, most likely. 6-8 suited, king, queen, both like the flop to some capacity king queen feeling amazing six eight suited knows how hard it is to make a draw also six or eight could be good he doesn't know his opponent has top pair or a pair for that matter so race, yeah, call. Uh -huh. mm. wow. hold up king must just hold up well he's definitely not fully now and the question is how much will ignacio bet it's three million in the middle he's got 4.118 does he go for okay goes for half the pot and L. Joseph, how could he possibly fold? You can't, right? Pair flush draw could have the best hand. Might even just rip it in calls and bricks. And and uh, wow, 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 yes. wow. Malika. Yes, he has a pair and he's going to call it. If he's going to bet here, he's going to call with a Most probably. <laughs> he likes calling, so. He does, but in eight, you lose to so many things. But man, it's, yeah. it's any block that flush that misses. I don't know. Let's see. Ignacio. There's a lot in the middle. Okay, he's gonna fold now. Yep. Yeah, he's got a, that. That card. Just we are completely... back in the game, guys. We are back in the game. You are. You are way back. Look you are at so it. Look back. At it. Chip Look at leader. It. We are even now. We are right now again. We are chip lead again. <laughs> wow. Wow, I thought that was a wrap. Something excited here, guys. Just excuse I, me. I'm just getting I'm telling so excited. You, uh, I'm telling you, Malika has very good taste and and food and wine and drinks and everything. And I'm worried. I'm a, I'm a bit worried about this dinner. Honestly, this isn't going to be like a a sizzler dinner. Applebee's. Uh, this is going to be. There's this could be expensive. So I'm I'm sweating it. The audience is sweating it. Everyone's sweating. Let's see what happens. We are pretty even here. Going to the wire for another very exciting super million. Seventy five thousand dollars on the line. And these these boys like to play. They're they're firing. They are definitely firing. Being creative. Oh wow! Look at that. This, Taking it down. Oh, and he goes for the fold. Now I think Moron realizing he's putting for he's putting a lot of pressure on him and he's just saying, you know what? I'm not gonna take it anymore. Let me put pressure on you. And by the way, I don't mind uh, losing to like a dinner, you know. Obviously, uh, I like that, but I don't like losing. I like I would take you guys for dinner, but I just want to win. <laughs> it's it is it is more fun to win, right? It is, especially yeah. you made a, you made an ambitious pick. You made an ambitious pick today with Victor to start when he wasn't one to. Um, yeah, it's it's you you made a you made an ambitious deal. That's for sure. You you uh, I, I I like that. You were so high up on Victor. It was um it was it was it was good to see him play on that one hand. I know that hurt you that he folded, but that'll be a fun hand to talk about. I, I made a few notes of cool hands today, and wow, this is a. Uh, this is deuces. This is a tricky one. They're kind of deep. You don't really want to like set mine. He just sits, ships it in, takes it down. Well done. Look at that. He's crushing right now. Moron is back in the game. Yeah, this is man. What this is? This has been one of the bigger swings that we've had on um it, it's been there's been some real back and forth in the big comeback right now uh it's uh it has been a very interesting final it's table to say the least I'm and no time bank he's got no away. time bank <laughs> i want to see what's happening he's got no time bank l joseph it might you know now he's in the, the chip deficit and he has literally not a lot of time got to be focused in here every every his clock is super super fast to play so let's see if he's able to to not time out because we've only seen this happen a few times yeah someone asking so we are we are literally we are literally to it right now it could be one hand away we see the cover at 410 85 85 mid pair here 
no time bank, no time bank. He could time out at any second. Gets five seconds. You see that red clock every time. Does go for the check raise. Well done. And again, Malika, these guys just want to keep playing. We're two hours and I believe 40, almost 40 minutes in this final table. This is definitely one of the top kind of longer ones that we've had. This has been a, a true battle. And we are still going here as King Deuce and 7-9 suited and a lot to play for as well. So we do appreciate you guys I'm watching. I'm the King here, King Deuce here. Like, Whoa, what a card. <laughs> what a card. Uh, what a card. El Joseph going to probably be shelling here. Picks up additional equity. Has the lead in the hand. Four, three, two. Big bet. Well, this it's could be it, Malika. If he just clicks call, he might just click call as well. With the weak King has a bluff catching Stop hand. Calling. And oh, wow. My. Wow. We can wow. breathe, guys. We can breathe. <laughs> does he does he rip it in though? Does seven nine suited rip this in? He he Whoa. has the potential to wow. 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 Ignacio hits the dream card and then doesn't get a dream. I river. don't want to see more unfolding here. Uh, I I actually don't. It's a difficult uh, they, call. But I, I seeing like how Joseph plays. I'm putting so much pressure on the players. I'll probably call with King here, yeah. playing heads up. Yes, he does call. Up. He yeah. does call. Oh my goodness! And he leaves himself he 160 thousand. But what a hand! What a hand! Wow! 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 Jack five queen deuce. It's not over yet, but it is close to over. Oh, look I mean, at that. I'll tell you what. Oh, he's, does he? he picks Deuce up, on the oh. river is good. Deuce would be really so. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> and he gets it. <laughs> what a win! What wow. a win! He's wow. winning. <laughs> that, wow, Malika, unreal, unreal. That was quite a finish, quite a final table. And for our friend at home, it's uh, it's a hundred dollars to the winner and wow I, I gotta say that was some of the more fun i've had two hours 45 <laughs> minutes on the dot we got malika razavi who came here today gg poker winner world series of poker bracelet winner and again follow her on all the socials instagram in particular very active you can check her hand and mob out and a lot of results malika thank you so much for coming on do you have any final closing words how, how did you enjoy the final table today Thank you so much for having me. Honestly, I had so much fun. Uh, I hope that uh, you invite me again. Um, I think first I'm lucky to be on on the uh, you know um, on the final table and guessing the player, and I won the dinner. <laughs> no, it was Amazing. a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I, I really had a lot of fun. Amazing. Well, congrats to GGG Space Gaming, who did win now. It's a $100 ticket, not a 50. We do have your username because you put it in there. And we appreciate you guys all for watching. I have some absolutely legendary guests coming up here the next three weeks. Already confirmed. Excited to announce that for you guys. We will see you next week. Same time, same place. 2.45 Eastern time for GG Super Millions. This will be Season 2, Episode 64 next week. This was Season 2, Episode 63. Malika Razavi was the guest. We appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week.